guys. Nice. No, 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 no. Oh. The, the, internet, the internet didn't die. But I'm glad to see that over there, first of all, turn this The internet man died. Or do we not have Wi Fi? Plug's not in. Where'd that go? No, I took the plug out. Oh, I don't know. Why don't we have internet? I don't know. Uh, well, we need to get back in the chat room. I don't really need the chat room. What, what does it? proxy mean? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what I was going to say. I know a proxy server is like a backup or something. Something really? like that. What I was going to say, if we're if we're even live right now, but. but Since we're connected. Yeah, that's, that's fine and everything, but. but why? What is this? I gave you two right there, dickhead. You must have took them with you. I didn't take them. They're gone. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I didn't give you two. You had one. So, so you got some for yourself. No, I didn't. You said, fuck you. I've got one just like you had one, only I didn't drink mine well, yet. You got some for yourself, but you said, fuck you. Feel that. I had that before the show stuff. You owe me a beer now. Thank you. Anyways, how are you doing this week? I was a pretty good a minute ago. Now you're starting to get on my motherfucking nerves. You didn't leave me any beers. You're getting on my nerves. When did I become beer bitch? Every week. Every week. Yeah. Before we come in here, there's two, three beers for me. There's two, yeah. three beers for yourself. No, you don't have any. This week, I come in. This week, you already there's had no one. No beers over can here. Can we do a show? You've got beer. Yes, we Scumbag. can. i got to fix the uh, the internet to... Uh, you want me to look the chat on here, just in case? <coughs> yeah, see if the, uh, if the chat... The only problem is, on, using uh, the browser here are. might screw the stream up, like, make it skip and shit, but... Maybe if we connect to, uh, to, to this Wi-Fi over here, we'll see if, uh... See, I don't know how I'm supposed to get to it. If that does anything different. Where would I go to get to the chat? Uh, just go to wzronline.com slash chat. Right. And, uh... It Coming should, in close, fellas. It should pop up there. So, anyway, we, uh, got a lot to talk about tonight with, uh, Monday Night Raw... Mm. From last night, we, uh, I, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't see very much of, uh, of Raw last night, and no. you tell me every week, you're sitting behind me saying, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, and I'm I always working, really attention and it kind of ticks you off, because I'm always working, yeah. you know what I mean, through Raw, and, uh, and, and, uh, it was the, it was the case last night, like, I, didn't even know that Wiz Khalifa performed on Raw, and there it was on my TV, right in back of me, less than two feet away. And uh, how's this supposed to work? Why? Maybe write your past right down here. Hold on. Oh, you know what the? Uh, it's the same, same as normal. This is, starts with a Z. Yeah, and ends with a Z. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, What's the user? Uh, just put in uh, Ryan Clark. Something like that, and then we can uh, we can hook it up. But uh, no, and and I didn't know that Wiz had performed like three or four songs on on Raw last night. I saw the main event. Yeah, I watched like the a medley. Diddy, yeah, like three yeah, of like songs, and, and the crowd songs. was dead as shit. Really? For the whole thing. Why did yeah. the pop up come on? Yeah. What do we got? Yeah. Here? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, and then the other thing that I want to talk about is. China, mm -hmm. right? China puts up these videos on YouTube, I don't know, within the last couple of days or within the last week or so. Have you seen them? I, I mean, mean other you. than what I played. It? Yeah, good yeah, enough? that's good. Yeah. Uh, other than what I no, played I watch for you. Just what I heard in there. Dude, yeah. listen. It was Gross. Like, listen to her do her voice is gross. I, I, I mean, eh, or, 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 or a candy bar or whatever yeah, she said. What is this? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Just uh, fuck the chat. Listen, there you listen. Go. We, uh. know, we know how her voice is, dude. We've seen yeah. the past videos. But uh. the videos that came out yesterday, my God, man. I mean, she's <laughs> a wreck, man. She's in she bad shape. Is, she's she is not good, It's, it's man. back to about, like, when she remember when she was on the Stern show that one time and she had, like, a complete fucking train wreck on the air? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's yeah. back, like, she seems like she's, uh, she's clearly on something. She was... What it is, I don't know, but she's feeling no pain. Let's put it that way. You know, somebody said, <laughs> well, she seemed like she was drunk with the, the slurring of the words. That could be I mean, soma. That, that could be... Yeah. Hmm, I've been in soma comas before. That's what you could, call them. It, I, I don't know what it you was, heard that? Man, but yes. Soma coma. Soma coma. Yeah, there, was a, there was a time period where... This is in the past, everybody. Don't do pills, kids. But I was on somas, and I think it was Vicodin back then, or Percocet. Lord Tab. Lord Tab and somas. Okay. I'd get them from my back, and then I'd buy them off the street illegally and take away too much. <laughs> okay. Uh, long story short, I got really hooked on somas at one point. 
Okay. And they make you bleh, like just fucking they're muscle relaxers. Dude. So I got hooked on ice cream and chocolate syrup, right? And I had a two story apartment, so I'd have to climb up there was a one time Mike watched me and laughed at the top of the steps, my roommate. Right. I literally right. had to crawl. I could not stand. I literally right. had to crawl up the stairs. But anyway, an entire I don't want to call it a wardrobe because that sounds girly, but like an entire thing of clothes I had at the time. Like all my clothes. Right. All of them. About a year later, we found them in a closet because I tucked them all in a closet. What would happen was, you know how I work in a recliner because of my back? Right, right, right. That's my computer chair. So I would sit there in my computer chair with a bowl of ice cream covered in chocolate sauce. <laughs> and I would eat it while I watched something on my computer. And every single shirt I own had fucking chocolate stains. All oh, really? There and, uh, and you had no idea that you were doing Not it until I would wake up the next day. Until, yeah. until you were able to wake up. But right, uh, right, that's right. a soma coma. All right. She sounded like she was in Soma Coma Heaven. She was so far out there in those videos, dude. It was sad to watch, to be honest with you. She's falling apart. The last we knew, she was doing good, man. And even some of her videos, that right. when she uh -oh. first uh, when she first <laughs> opened the uh, that's because I just logged in. Oh. Now you logged me out. Whoops. Right here. I'm sorry. I got it fixed. But um, okay. no, it it was so sad, dude. I mean, she came out. And she was bashing Triple H and Stephen McMahon and went on that whole rant yeah. against them. And, and uh, dude, it was that. Those videos, if you guys, I mean, they're up on WZROnline.com right now, but some really sad stuff. I even put it in the, in the post. I was going to repost them today because there was so much news that went up on the websites last night with Raw and right before Raw that I was going <laughs> to repost today those so that people could see it again. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I thought to myself, that is so sad that I don't even think see, I want to put him back there's up. There's half of me that's I sad. Wanna, I, and know, then when she starts going on the Triple H beat me and Stephanie's a total bitch and this and that, and I'm like, well, now I don't feel bad for you because you're being a fucking cunt right now. Right. right like, right, I don't know anything right. about anything. She may be telling the truth. Right, right. I just, it, Triple H doesn't strike me as the type that would beat the shit out of a woman. Plus, Waltman came out too and denied that. And, yeah, and and he said that she, not only did he say that she lied about beating him up, or, or her, him beating her up, I'm sorry, but, and I've heard him say this many times in the story, where, where her big thing was, I forget what the name of the basketball team was, but she claimed that she was raped by an entire basketball team. This was her big story for years, right? Back in college or whatever the fuck. Right. And then she got really drunk or high or something when, when Waltman was dating her and, and admitted to him one night, no, as like a dare with me and my girlfriends, I took on the entire college basketball team. Like, voluntarily slept with every guy on the team. Which, god damn, I can't imagine. You remember what she looked like before who she would, got her yeah, jaw fixed? Who fit? would yeah. want to... Who would want to... College drunk guys that are yeah. just looking to fuck anything? Maybe. I, I mean, guess. I don't know. But I my guess. joke was going to be, know. Triple H doesn't strike me as a guy that would hit a woman. A. B. And this is a joke, but maybe it's serious. If him and the old China that he was dating at the time... That China? Yeah, yeah. Even if he tried to fight her, he'd probably get his ass kicked. That's so. not... <laughs> you know not, what I mean? Uh, she's <clears throat> not... An attractive woman. No. I mean... I don't know how the hell she ever got in Playboy. That was a curiosity. Been. No, that was WWE that was with Playboy. They could sell and, magazines. And they could sell magazines. Yeah. Right. And it was a freak show. And everybody <coughs> liked to see a freak show. Yeah. Right, right, like, right. Oh, shit, we get to see this she-man naked. Like, yeah, I wonder what that looks like. Right. And the other thing <laughs> I want to talk about is uh, Vince Russo. All right. Uh... A whole thing going on with the Pyro and Ballyhoo yeah. uh, website that somebody, I, I mean, we'll get into it later, um, Chris Chisholm's, I heard that, Chris by the Cash. way, uh, Chris Cash Chisholm, that's, that's, he doesn't let it know out there, right, right. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Chris Cash um, yeah. had, Good dude. you know, he's, I spoke to him um, at length uh, yeah. the other night. You were on that phone call as well, and uh, and we talked about. By the way, I've been emailing. Him. By the way, yeah. Well, Sean McCoy to the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, yeah. All right, traded to the Buffalo Bills. Say, now last Revis, week, Revis. now last week, Darrell Revis. Who? Darrell Revis. Oh man. Uh, but but all right. So Receiver? listen. So uh, defensive, defensive. The on, on defense. Right, you guys got ready to linebacker to get McCoy. Uh, Kiko, Kiko uh, yeah, yeah, Alfonso, yeah. or Alonso. Whatever. Yeah. Um, but but listen. So last week I came on here and I said to everybody that listen, Sean McCoy, I love it. Running back, one of the best running oh, backs shit. in the in the league, coming to Buffalo. But what did I say last week? I said running backs were not our problem. 
And I oh, said yeah. that we had Fred Jackson and T.J. Spiller. Yeah, Everybody right. immediately jumped over me. What are you crazy, dude? McCoy's LeSean better McCoy's. than both of them. And I agree. Yeah. I agree with that, man. LaShawn McCoy is probably the, maybe even the best running you're back. You're not going to forget if I cut you off, what your story is here. Okay. Before it goes away. Did we get this new Discover America channel? Like, upstate New York finally got Discover America. I can see Impact Wrestling again. Is it's that true? Destination America. Yeah, but it's on the, that network. Discover America? Yeah, that's the network. And then no, the Discovery is the network, and yeah, no, well, Destination America is the actual did channel. Did we get the channel? I don't know. I haven't heard that we, we live in impact. upstate New York, right? I don't know. If we got, you if don't we know get if we live in upstate New York. We haven't. We live in <laughs> upstate New York. I don't know if we have uh, the channel. The last I knew, we didn't get TNA Impact, but if they've added it to our, our thing, I haven't heard anything out, about yeah. that, but yeah. I'm sorry. Out. Go ahead. Bills. But, um, so, so the Bills, right? So we get LaShawn McCoy. It wasn't official, but I think it it was it made official today. It was I official. Think by, it was on. Uh, it was trending on Facebook. I saw. All right, by four o'clock like today. By four o'clock on Tuesday today, I think it is four six o'clock something like that. All trades had to be done. Official. Deadline. They had to be made. Um, so I'm guessing we got Lashawn McCoy right. But last week I came on here and I said we need a quarterback. EJ Manuel. Um, what's his name? Uh, Kyle Orton yeah. um, is retiring. Basically hanging it up. Mm-hmm. So we needed a quarterback. So we went out. And we signed Matt Castle. Now, before everybody jumps on me over this, Matt Castle. Uh, 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 Matt Castle. Da, da, da. He's good. If you remember, when Tom Brady, I think it was like 2013, 2012, that maybe. That was last year, no? It was just a couple of years ago. Recently. It wasn't last year. Uh, two years Brady ago. played last year, but I think it was 2013. He got benched or injured or benched or something one game, and then this dude, you just no, said... No, 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 no. This was the entire season. Brady was out with a torn... Brady was out a whole season. Brady was that. out damn near the whole season. Okay. Maybe he played a couple of games, and then he was out for the for the he remainder. Screwed of up. The it season. is Destination America that we got. Okay, sorry. All right. So, anyways, so we sign. All right. So when Brady goes out with an injury, Matt Castle comes. Yes. In. And he kills it for the Patriots. All right. He's pretty fucking good, man. Matt Castle. And there were people in New England saying Brady's getting older. <sighs> Castle's the future. He's a young guy. Let's it was going to be Brady. the Drew Bledsoe, Tom Brady thing all over again. Yes, all right, with Castle man. being Brady. Yeah. It was Castle going to be Brady, and Castle killed mm-hmm. it for New England, man. So everybody was talking about Brady's getting older. He's only got a couple more years left in the league. Let's sign this Castle guy and make him our starter. Anyways, Tom Brady comes back. They take Brady. Castle moves on, gets traded, goes to, I think, Kansas City. And he takes Kansas City... For the first time in seven years, Playoffs. he takes Kansas City to the divisional uh, championship game. Okay. Okay? And they wind up losing there. But he still took them to a playoff game. Not only that, but he goes into the Pro Bowl because he had such a good season yeah. with Kansas City. So this is a Pro Bowl player. This is a guy that came in for Tom Brady and did well for the Patriots. This is a guy just that going. Co- took Kansas City. So I'm saying Buffalo Bills wound up signing Matt Castle. Okay. I think... As a backup, though, right? As a starter. They're going to sign him over Manuel? Absolutely. We benched Manuel this past season and put in Kyle Orton. Yeah. So, we're going to start I thought Matt that was Castle. just once or twice. <clears throat> no, Kyle Orton came in and finished out the season as EJ was okay. benched earlier on. So, EJ, they benched him and it was Kyle Orton for the rest of the season. So, now, we've got Sean McCoy, we've got Matt Castle... The Patriots traded Darrell Revis, who's one of the best defensive backs, uh, backs I believe, covers wide receivers. Oh, uh, uh, cornerback. Defensive cornerbacks, I'm not no, sure. Not defense, just that. cornerback. Or cornerback, right? One of the I best think. defensive players in the entire NFL. Uh, the Patriots wind up trading him today. And now the Bills are interested in getting him as well. So we have LaShawn McCoy, Matt Castle, give us Darrell Revis. I'm telling you, the Buffalo Bills are going to be a playoff team as early as this coming year. Uh, sometimes it takes a while to figure it out. You've got to figure it out. Right? Right. To have a whole new, you're going to build your offense around McCoy, obviously. And if Castle's your new back, you got a whole new offense because you got a brand new starting quarterback, brand new starting uh, running back. Right. So you got to build a whole new offense. It takes time for them to it get a group going with the to offensive get line. Right, 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 right. With, right. with all that, so they got yeah. to redo that. They lost their linebackers, so they kind of got to 
find out their, their new footing with their the defense. So it might take a year or two to figure out a great working formula. Right. And right, get everybody right, right. on the same page. But you guys do have like a good, right? we're got a good foundation. Moves, man. We're we're making it's the moves. same thing the Lions did. When they got Stafford, when they got uh, Calvin Johnson, uh, just this last year they got Reggie Bush, right, Jordan right, right, right. Bell. Like we got all these new guys that are that are players, real legit players. The first year or two, we still had those two and twelve, two and whatever the fifteen, whatever to be, two and fourteen, whatever the fuck it would be. Uh, right, right, shitty right, records. Right. Yeah. But then this last year, we finally went to the playoffs. You guys went all season without winning a game within the last two or three about, years, right? About four or five, five, four years, or five ago. years ago. Right. We were right. the first team since. Fuck, like 50, 60 years ago. To go 0 oh 16. Yeah. 0 oh 16 is <laughs> not an entire win. And now look at you. And now, that's how you know you're a real fan of a team. Hey, I stuck listen. through 1 and 15. Wait a minute. 0 oh 16. A minute. 2 and 14. <laughs> I stuck through Super Bowl loss after Super Bowl loss. Oh, oh Super four years. You made it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, win. I didn't even get a win all the season. The last 10 plus years, 10, 15 years, the Bills ain't, ain't even made it. Oh, when I was playoffs. going up, Thurman Thomas, Thomas Ben the Kelly. Playoffs. What are we talking about here? You guys were a great team when we I was We never won up. a Super Bowl, though. You never won a Super Bowl. We never made it to the playoffs in my whole lifetime until, like, I think twice in my what life I've seen mean? the Lions in the playoffs. Dude, it was, uh, we needed, like, a 21-yard field goal. And an oh, point, I forget. I know what you're talking about. Is it, uh, I, I want to say, say Scott Norwood. Maybe. Wide it's, right. It's not even going to hit me. I don't Wide know. right. Yeah. I think it was Scott Norwood. You dropped the ball uh, on that one. But was that yeah. against the Niners, the Cowboys? I don't was it? remember. I think it was the Cowboys. I want to say Scott Norwood. Was it like a 21 or 23 yard? Easy field goal. Or an it was point. an extra I'm point. Sorry. Yeah, extra point. Yeah, no, yeah. it was a field goal, but it was the distance of an extra, of an extra point, point yeah, 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 yeah. to win the game, win the Super Bowl, and it went wide Right, dude. It was a chip shot. It was an extra point. All right, it was against it the was Giants. A, it was a field goal, but it was the distance of an extra point. They said it was, it was against the, the Giants, Giants and right. they're saying a 47-yard field goal. No, it was like 21 47 yards. 47 yard. He's pretty confident, man. No, it wasn't 47, man. When it went wide right, it was 21 yards or 23 yards. I trust yards. Steven Grebeck, i got to tell you. Even though he called me a dick know, man. a minute ago, but yeah. I don't know. There was a chip shot that we missed, man, and it was uh, like 20. There's another one. Two different people saying it now. 47 yards, the wide right was not 47 yards, it was more like 20 or 21. Third person says it, and he says, bet me. Who now he's telling right, to look it right. up on Wikipedia, all right, pretty confident. Alright, alright, but what was, uh, there was a guy that missed a chip shot that was 21. You guys may be right, and yeah, you're thinking like of a you different guys, incident, yeah. You, I mean, everybody's saying 47, so you guys yeah. are right there. Love but you too, Stevie. There was also a, a chip shot that was like 21 or 23 yards or something right, like that. Alright, we gotta that, get off this football shit, man. We're anyways, we'll back. move on, but everybody's saying that, uh, everybody's Bill's saying 47. Bill's got a good team. So, yeah. Bill's got a, you guys, uh, really you guys got something to work with now. <laughs> right, right, right. time in years, you got something you can really work with. Right. All so right. It'll be so, interesting. So here we go. Uh, we're going to get into Monday Night Raw from last night. Um, no Lord. UFCs, nothing like that. Next Except, Saturday. Or this uh, Saturday, I'm sorry. Boxing yeah. returned on NBC this Premier past Premier Boxing weekend, Championship. Really, really yeah. good. Um, they had uh, Thurman and uh, Keith Guerrero. Keith Thurman and Robert Guerrero. And then they had... And the Guerrero got his ass whooped. It was uh, Molina and... Uh, Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner, yeah. right. And, uh, and That Broner. was a boring fight. That too. was a real boring fight. But, um, all right, so let's get the plugs out of the way. We'll get into Monday Night Raw from last night. WZRonline.com, the official website, the official home of WZR TV. Tuesdays, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Go to Facebook.com slash WZR Army. We are on YouTube as well. Go to YouTube.com slash WZR Army and Twitter as well. Just go to WZRonline.com, top navigation bar. It's got a scroll down menu. It's got all the links to Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube right there, WZR Online. Dot com, the official home of WZR TV Tuesdays. We got a lot of chat room, lots of people in there this week, man. I'm like what I'm saying. They're uh, nice and chatty and good and good stuff. How students. can they get to the chat room? They can go Pretty to simple. www.wzronline.com. A motherfucking dot com. Slash chat. WZRonline.com slash chat. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. So, uh -oh. you're going to have to help me out. Steven Grebeck says he's calling an hour two and he's going to shoot on Ryan Clark. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's about the Bills. He was, he was the guy <laughs> saying the thing about the Bills. So. No, I, I agree. You guys are probably mm -hmm. right. The, everybody said 47 yards or whatever, so I don't dispute that. I was wrong. But something happened with a 23 yard or a chip shot or something like that. Maybe somebody Look can it up Google during that. the break yeah. here. I don't know. We'll look it up. But, anyways, um, 
All right, so live chat room, got the plugs out of the way. Um, one other thing I want to talk about. What was that? With the advertising last week before we move on. Uh, uh, yes, and, yes. And, and that whole thing. Give the update. You have seen my inbox where I have been in talks with... A lot of prospects. So many advertising companies. And to be honest with you guys, we talked about Yard Barker last week, and I don't have very high hopes, and Boone's going to help me out with this, but... Uh, I don't think the door is all the way closed. It's damn near... It's open a crack. Yeah. It's open a crack. I'd and say, like, uh, the door's shut and locked, but the window is, like, cracked open a little bit. To unlock that door and yeah. bring it back open. Or you could climb through the window, maybe, and be like, hey, guys, anybody there's, home? There's a possibility. Also, yeah, we'll open the door for you. Come on in. Also, I mm. signed with uh, Yellow Ad Network today, and I also signed with Advertising.com, so... We're getting back on our feet, and uh, quick, can I, uh, we're going back question? out here. Yes. Okay, There's. A, I want to hear the punchline. Stephen Grebeck, oh, he just gave us the answer. He says, what do you call a masturbating cow? And he said, beef stroking off. Do you get the joke? Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Okay. Beef stroking off. You do get it. All right, good, good, good. All right. But anyway, uh, that's that's a pretty decent good. joke. They were decent. doing the nacho cheese, and he threw that one out. That was right. decent. Uh, I love beef stroking off, by he the way. got Dino to take a spit take. Tino says he was going. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's get into it. But we're on the uh, we're on the mend. We're on the rebound, and uh, like we're getting it. some we're getting some advertising companies back on uh, back nice. on the websites. And uh, I like. It's nice. I like. All right. Um. So here we go. Monday night. You're gonna have to help me out here, man. As uh, you know that I, was I have had like attention too. It was um, brutal. So Randy Orton comes out, right? Yeah, that was and, the main uh, theme of the show, the order. Basically, the whole authority, for the, with the exception of Stephanie and Triple H, yeah. they weren't out there, right? It was Big Show, it was Kane, it was Rollins, it was J&J Security. Can, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Uh, do you need beer? Because I, I, I took one of yours. Go so get I'll go get him. Can you, yes. you want to start here? I kind of got a piss, too, but go ahead, go All ahead, right. you do it. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get the beers, and then you can Gotcha. Go. I could probably hold it, I'm a big boy. Okay. Anyways, like he said, Raw opened up with the authority in the ring... Randy Orton's music hit. The Viper makes his way to the ring. The uh, the squared circle, if you will. Anyways, all of the authority members, minus Triple H and Stephanie Man, are standing there. Orton, long story short, proceeds uh, to rip each and every member of the authority a new... Let me censor myself. A-hole. Uh, he goes to Big Show. You could have been a giant monster and said you're, you know, a crybaby. Blah, blah, blah. Kane... Uh, you went from something to making coffee. I don't know. He's trashing everybody except Mercury for some reason. That was weird. Joey Mercury. He said, and Joey Mercury, you, by the way, can't, you know, and they just ignored him. But uh, long story short, he's trashing all of them right after they say he's still with the authority. He's clearly with the authority. Blah, 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 blah. He trashes all of them. And then, oh, I'm just playing, guys. You know I'm just playing. Right, right, right. And none of them believed him except Rollins. Rollins said, oh, yeah, he's just playing. Uh, yeah, man, I was looking at those there. Um, mm. I thought, you know, I mean, listen, it was a swerve the last couple of weeks, right? They'd been teasing. Well, what this segment was, was him telling them straight to their face what he's going to do, then pretending it's a joke, and then he actually does it at the end of the show, was what it was. Right, right. And we had said last week, when we get to the scene of Rusev stuff, you and I... We're yeah, dead we on that, that. and it was pretty obvious that they were going to do that anyway. But um, you know, it was. Mm. Did you read Lana? 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 Did you read? She's taking time off to do that movie. I did. What are they going to do with Rusev? Well, Rusev will still come out. I think Rusev's uh, undefeated streak. Mm -hmm. I mean, at WrestleMania, clearly he's losing. I think it ends anyways. I mean, mm -hmm. Rusev's already got one win over, and then the biggest stage of them all, WWE's. Real life superhero, yeah. As as he oh said God, today right. yeah, yeah, yeah. in an interview, USA but Today. Said listen, that. did you see the uh, the backstage video though? Like last night at Raw, Raw Fallout or the segment on Raw? No, there was a, a fan um, sent it into uh, uh, Jason Powell's website, uh, ProWrestling.net. Uh, yeah, uh, sent it in last night. It was basically they had won some tickets from a radio station to go backstage at Raw. Oh, no, I saw the headline. I didn't look at it, though. And, no, and no. they would meet a WWE so what happened? star. And so they're backstage at Raw last night, and um, they get to meet some WWE superstar, and it turns out that 
Connor, um... Kalik? I don't know how to say it either. Michaelic. Right. Ah, I'm, I'm not sure. It looks like but Michael I'm, Eck is how you spell it. So, right? they were, you know, where people get invited backstage to Raw, they kind of all put them into one room. Yes. Like, all the backstage visitors I've go to I've done that once with a radio show thing my mom won. It was when I was like 8 or 9. It was... So oh, no, no, I was like 13, because it was Test. Right. It was A-Train... And one of the divas, like Jack Lynn or something test. at the time. Yeah. Remember test, man. He's dead. Oh, man. Yeah, I know. That's Ooh. what I'm saying. Remember And A-Train's the new NXT hit train. We need to talk. We yeah. know the mod. Oh, my God. Um, but, but so they, 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 they put everybody in a backstage room, right? And it uh, turns out that they were, they had won the tickets from a radio station. Yeah. And they were with Connor's family backstage at Raw. Oh, wait, real quick, to paint a picture. Anybody who watches Total Divas is always talking about it. They just had it, I think it was last week or two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. It was Natalia, and they set a table up. She sits at the table, she signs autographs, takes pictures with like 18, 20 fans that get lucky to go backstage. And right, 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 right. With a particular diva or superstar. And what you're saying was it was, I guess, Cena. Mm. Okay. Well, so. that's what it was. And then they're backstage in the room, <coughs> and uh, all of a sudden the elevator door opens, and John Cena walks out, comes up, signs autographs, and, you know, takes photos Take pictures, with the kids. Little chat. Basically, what yeah. I'm saying, I, where I'm going with this, is a lot of people shit all over John Cena, right? John Cena, this, that, and the other thing. But every time, every single time, WWE needs him. <laughs> uh, I, I saw that. Jacob I crying think they've can replace Reggie's barking. Well, somebody else said baby crying drink, I saw that. so yeah. they've got a drinking game. Yeah, every drinking time game full of effect. But uh, WTRonline.com slash yeah. Uh, but basically, every single time, WWE needs John Cena to, to fly for Good one, a, media, yeah, a, a media appearance. Yes. Or, or whatever. He's a company man if there ever was one. He's a company yeah. man. They can call him at the drop of a dime and say, John, we need you in California. We know you're in Boston. Yeah. We need you in California. We need you there by 5 o'clock today. Yes. That man will jump on an yeah, airplane. I know you're doing the overseas tour in India, but we need you in the bottom of Texas in five hours. Dude, that man will jump on an airplane and fly to where he needs to be. It's the Correct. same thing. Make a wish. Kids want to meet John. John, you got three wishes that you got to grant backstage at yeah. Raw today. Not a problem. 20 Goes radio and interviews before the show. Two TV appearances. Goes and does it. Does it all. He does it all, dude. So He'll come back from I get injury it. I early, get it. even though it's risky. And, and he does everything. We watch him on television, and some of us that are a little bit older, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever you guys are. Uh, 70s. It's corny, right? We see that stuff, right? But Jacob, Jacob is a perfect example. Jacob is Boy, two years old. John Cena. I say, I say, Jacob. Monday night, it's Monday. Monday night, Raw's on tonight. What's the first? Where's John? Where's John? Where's John? Where's John? Where's, Where's John? Where's yeah. John Cena? Every time he Put hears it this John, way. when he's in a music, bad mood, what do you do to cheer him up? I play. <laughs> I'll put, if, if I hear Jacob out there crying, I'll throw John Cena's music Tell the story how you comes, woke him up the other day. He comes running up. So Jacob's on Funny, the couch. I didn't even see it. It sounded funny. Jacob's on the couch sleeping the other day, yeah. and I went into my room, and on the computer, I, t- I went to YouTube.com. Mm-hmm. I put in John Cena's theme song, yes. right? I blast the speakers. <laughs> you know what I mean? John Cena's music hits, right? And I creep out into the hallway. And he opens his eyes and he goes like this, and he goes. Says <laughs> 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 when he wakes up, he does the you can't. And every time he'll be in a bad mood, and I'll put John Cena's music. That dude, that kid comes running into my room. John Cena, where's John? Where's John? It's the same thing, man. I know Jacob's only two. It's funny, but. Gervais doing the John Cena sucks. He'll do that too. Right, right, right. But, but it's, he'll do it's, the John Cena's cool because his mom doesn't like him saying sucks. We don't do the sucks yeah. thing. We do John, John Cena's, Cena's cool. cool. John Cena's cool. Yeah. We do it with Jacob. So, but every time, if the he kid's in a bad mood, thing, he does. But what, I'm, what I'm saying I'm is, sorry, he's ahead. he's only two, two and a half years old, man. It's five, six, seven-year-old kids. kids and they women. love yeah. John Cena, dude. They love him. It's a Jeff they Hardy effect. Him. Kids and women love him. And the fact that he does everything that is asked to him of WWE, you gotta give. You can you, listen. You can hate John Cena all you want, man, but you gotta be able to respect the things that behind the scenes and what he does for the company. And uh, let's be honest, he's. Their biggest star. What star is right all now? This, by the way, where? Why are we kissing? kissing well, I, I was talking about a backstage video about how John. Yeah, what happened last night? Today? Last night, no, I basically came in and took photos and and oh. and, and, and did things like so that. Nothing happened. Well, you you had mentioned Lana taking time off. Yeah, What's yeah, going to yeah. happen? We got into the WrestleMania match with okay. Cena and Rusev. But 
It's just seen as a, a company man that does everything. You got to be able to respect that. Oh, work. What you do. That's what always said. Seen as seen is cheesy and corny at times. Right, right, right. But at the same time, you have to respect the dude. Got to be able to and respect work. When ethics. it really, really counts. Yeah, the dude's talented too. Look at his series with The Rock. Right. I was one of very, maybe very few people. I don't know. Maybe you'll probably disagree with me because you're a big Rock Mark, but. I thought Cena was out. out no, I thought Cena outdid him too. He was out promoing the, the Rock. Right. He did. He, he did. was out promoing the best promo in history. He did. Sorry to say the that. The best out. promo cutter in history. I wouldn't writer. even say that. Ric Flair, Roddy Piper. You Bob put them ahead of Rock? I would. Maybe Ric Flair. I'd have. I'd have to try. I'd probably put him ahead of Rock. I, I yeah. think the Rock is probably the best talker. The funniest ever. There's a difference between the funniest promo and the best promo. He's pretty good on the fly though, too, man. That's I mean, Rock that, was. I'm talking about a guy who can hand him a microphone and he will talk and sell tickets because of. That's what he Rock. Does. Oh, Rock's one of the best of all time in that regard. But I would you say, Flair, ahead of, ahead of in the terms of enter, overall entertainment and selling a match or a storyline or a ticket to an event, what do you guys think in the chat? Do you think Flair was a better talker than the Rock, or do you think Rock was better than well, you Flair? Also gotta look they at want it. us to get all right. involved. So. But you also got to look at it as Flair did it for 35, 40 years. Rock did it for like eight. Yeah. Would Rock still be as good right now? As he was ten years ago. I don't know. Ten whenever, years from now, would he still be as good? Because Flair never got. He never I don't went know. Like whenever, that. whenever Flair was either here or he would even go up sometimes. You know. Whenever Rock comes back, he still got it, man. He has the. They're lost all saying it. the Rock's better. So, but we I, do have I, a young I, audience, so it's not fair to ask this audience. Well, that's true. With but, with yeah. with Flair, I mean, I, listen, Flair. Let me is, see what uh, uh, Winner's Lair says. Oh, he says Rock. All right, because Flair is by over. no means uh, a bad talk. I mean, Flair was great. Oh dude. God, gotta put. Yeah. You gotta put. Flair in, in I the put top Piper three. up there. And Piper. Piper, Piper as well. Absolutely. you got to put Austin up there. I'd put Austin up there. Austin's got to be up Heyman? there. Oh, my God. Heyman. There's Heyman. a guy that give Rock a run for his Jesus, money. Jesus. I, I, Last night. I tell you what, man. Heyman. I, you know what? You know what How I would about do? Bobby Heenan? I would put... Listen. Yeah. I'm going to go... I'm going to go... Rock number one. Okay. I'm going to go... I don't want to put Austin number two. No, is that number no, two? It's not number two. All right, I'll go. I'll go. Rock number one. I'll go. Flair number two. I'll go. Heyman number three. I would go. Flair, I'll go. Heyman three. I would go. Flair, Rock. Heyman, Rock. That would be my top. Really? And I think I'm forgetting somebody because I did. You a, put Rock. If you remember, I did a twenty. Uh, uh, you know how I do the columns for E Wrestling News for a while? Yeah. All right. right. So I don't do them anymore. Right. But when I did, I did a, uh, it was like a four-parter, the top 20 talkers of all time. And I really sat and watched promos on YouTube, did a bunch of Wikipedia and Googling to try and remember, keep, and, uh, and I don't remember what, I don't even remember sitting here now, but I remember my top five was controversial. Right. A lot of people right, right, disagree right. with me. But it was my opinion. You put Heyman at two. I put Heyman at three. Heyman's, Heyman's amazing. up there, man. I'll tell you what, dude. Somebody came out today. I don't remember who was it in a was it a block or something like that and said Heyman is or no I saw it on Twitter somebody said oh it was that you know who it was <laughs> yeah it was Bob Ryder from from TNA uh, yeah. former owner of One Wrestling dot com and Heyman replied to a tweet from him well after <laughs> owned One Wrestling Ryder just ran it I think I thought Ryder used to own it after and he still has it, it. Well, maybe that's it he okay, sold maybe that's it. it but anyways Ryder came out and said that ah, there's a whatever good one. Punk I forgot about him Punk yeah, would be Punk's up there, there. Yeah, Punk's yeah, up yeah. there. But but Ryder came out and basically said that whatever WWE is paying Paul Heyman, it's not nearly enough. And Heyman replied to the tweet and it said, "Oh, <laughs> I saw that." Yeah, Heyman yeah, yeah, replied yeah, yeah, to the tweet yeah, yeah. and said, "It's great to see TNA guys pushing for me <laughs> to have a pay raise in WWE." Yeah, yeah. It's pretty funny stuff. Well, listen, if if you want to be honest, back in the when I first when you got me back into wrestling, it was the pipe bomb. I had dropped for the first time in my life. I had dropped out because MMA was so good. And I didn't have to do work for wrestling, so I didn't have to watch it. Mm -hmm. So I dropped out, and then you said, dude, something happened tonight with CM Punk, man. He shot on everybody. You're not going to believe it. That was, and I said, that that was, was when he was dude. Indian style on the ramp with the Colt yeah. Savannah reference. Sorry, Very I, racist I, I, term, I, I, yes. But, uh, yeah, he said, what? Indian style. That's racist? To me, I'm Native American. Uh, that's not an Indian thing. I don't know what you're talking about there. That's what it's called, Indian style. Wait a minute, like that. So many people say you're sitting Indian style. I just style. said that's what it's called. Yeah, that's what you would call it. You know what? Now that I think about it, though, yeah. it's just like the Redskins. People no, but every, everybody says it. Everybody yeah. says you're sitting Indian style with. But you're right. Now that now that you bring it up, yeah. 
sitting Indian style. Mm-hmm. It, you, you're stereo- stereotyping. Correct. I, Native American. Yeah, you're yeah. kind of right. But anyways, I didn't think. Um, I was you right. said, "Oh, something happened with Punk tonight. It was he shot. It was amazing." I said, "No, he didn't, dude. I didn't even see it or hear about it or anything." And you're on the phone with me, dude. You got to YouTube and watch it. I said, "Dude, I guarantee you didn't shoot. He fucking it was a work shoot, blah blah blah." Which it was. It was a work shoot. Right. But it was so goddamn awesome because you, you convinced me to watch it, and I watched good, it. Right? It was there was that, and it was one time not to get off topic, but. Whenever the Nexus trashed the whole fucking set and all that shit, yeah, Daniel Bryan choked yeah, Roberts with the tie. Right, right. I watched yeah. that too, and that didn't get me back into wrestling. Yeah. The Punk one did though. I saw that and I'm like, oh, they're they're letting Punk do it finally. They, somebody, they're finally giving it to him. Somebody so said. So I got back into it, and yeah. then when I got back into it, there were two things when Heyman came back every week that was worth watching on Raw for me. Heyman, Punk. Right like now. Yeah. There's one thing. It's Heyman. Last it's night, Heyman, Heyman every week, example. Man. Look at that yeah. old show, Heyman. Yeah. So, yeah. basically, that's what I was saying with the top talkers and shit and uh, the pay raise for Heyman. You damn right he deserves a raise because, quite honestly, for real hardcore fans, there's one thing that's guaranteed to be good every week, and that's Paul Heyman with a microphone. Anything Why? else, maybe good, maybe not. Y'all jumping over me in the chat room. Have you never said you're sitting, somebody's sitting Indian? Oh, style? I wasn't upset, guys. They no, said I, upset. I, I, I get it. You're sitting cross-legged or you've got your legs crossed yeah. that's what it's called you, indian style would you telling me that you've never said all the you sit indian style nobody's ever said that There's nothing racist about that i was joking You're crazy man I was joking i don't know but anyway a train had a good one he said indian burned a boon he's hurting you know the indian <laughs> burn where you go like that on someone's <laughs> What's the uh, thing where you go like this and somebody says... A noogie. I don't want to mess your head up. <laughs> uh, a, a noogie. noogie. Yeah, a noogie. Anyway, so, all right. Uh, so let's get back into this. So we did the opening segment, man. It was uh, uh, Randy Orton. It was basically a big ruse, right? A big joke. All right. uh, 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 ruse. Yeah, you like that? Is that how you say it? Yes. Is it a ruse? Ruse. Okay. R-U-S-E. Ruse. Okay. A ruse. Right. A ruse. Yeah. Maybe that's it. A ruse. I don't know. I know what you're trying to say, and I don't know how to say it either. So. <laughs> All right. We had uh, a ruse. I think it's ruse. Let's talk ruse. about Daniel Bryan, right? I mean, Daniel Bryan uh, had a match against Bad News Barrett last night. Daniel Bryan just came out in... What uh, happened to Daniel Bryan? In an interview today. My God. You know, this I just, time last year. I just Jesus. brought it up to you right before we came on the air here today. We'll bring up the uh, chat room here again. But Daniel Bryan... Main event at WrestleMania. As a matter of fact, double main event. Or two matches. Open at the show, close the show. Open the show and close the show. The show was built around him. He came out in an interview. I think it was with IGN today. Yes. Um, and basically said, "I'm as disappointed as anybody as last year. I main evented WrestleMania. I won the title at WrestleMania. I come out a uh, couple of weeks." <laughs> Couple uh, yeah. couple of weeks later, oh. um, I'm injured and I've got to get surgery. And now, one year later, we're headed into WrestleMania again, WrestleMania 31, and we're three weeks away. Yeah, <clears throat> less than three weeks away now. A little over, uh, three little over three raws left. Right, right, right. right. A little over three weeks away, and Daniel so. Bryan. Three raws. Left. Yeah, it's March 10th today, so we've got. So we got one, 29th. two. No, we got two raws left. All right, so we're under three weeks. Yeah. We're under three weeks until until WrestleMania. <clears throat> Daniel Bryan, the main eventer of last year's WrestleMania, doesn't have a match Not as of right now. Yeah. Now, you said to me, uh, before we came on the air here tonight, you said, yeah. well, he's going to be added into the IC title Battle Royal. And Ladder. I mentioned... Not Battle Royal. Or, uh... Yeah. Andre's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. Two multi-person matches. And I said to you... What about all these I vignettes? Think you might be right, man. So, what about all these vignettes we've seen? These video packages for Sheamus's return, and I'm thinking, and they have a history at Mania, do they? Two matches. Oh, that's right. Where so the one year where they were both bumped to the pre-show, and that's where the Yes movement started. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the next year, I think it was the next year, they were the opening match. Daniel Bryan kisses AJ Lee, turns around, bro, kick one, two, three. Right. Now that's right. when the Yes movement really got in going. Well, that's when the fans became like they, they like Daniel. I Bryan. said to you before we came on the air here tonight, mm. and it's a ladder match, and they announced uh, Stardust right earlier yeah. today. Confirmed them, yeah. So that's six guys in a ladder match. You got to think, man, when you're doing What's a ladder match, uh, Stardust was number six. Badger Barrett, Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, Dean R-Truth, Ambrose, R-Truth, R-Truth, 
Luke Harper, Luke Harper, and Stardust. Okay. You got to think when you're doing a. Uh, uh, and you know what? That might be it because last night so. they had a graphic and they had all those names we just said except one, and that was the guy that was the mystery guy in all black. Right. The question mark, and then it was Stardust, so maybe that's the full match. And you're then, also, yeah, Daniel Bryan's not in it, but he's thinking, in that angle right now. But you're you're also thinking, all right, you're doing a ladder match, and and everybody wants to see, all right, this guy's added. You get to a certain number, and you can only have so many guys in a ladder match before it comes a complete clusterfuck. Oh, and, I was going to say you can put as many as you want, but yeah, after a while, it's but like after a, a while, fuck and these I do. don't think I don't think more. You can only have so many guys laying on the floor selling for ten minutes while people right, are in the ring. Right, I think six guys in a ladder match. That's you're not going to go much higher than that, unless you're right? going eight because they're not going to do a weird odd number like unless seven. Unless they're going eight, right? But Goldust right. teased on Twitter that he was going to be part of it, and if Stardust in it, it would make sense that. Goldust is in it. So well, that would be seven. And maybe they'll Bryan do eight. Make eight. Maybe they'll do eight. And but I think, I, think, eight. I think eight is is even a bit That's much. That's too much. How many was match? in the Money in the Bank ladder match back in the day? I think five. Five? five? I could swear there's more than that. It was five, man. You wouldn't have me. That was those years I wasn't really watching. Let us know in the, uh, in the chat room, but I think there were five guys in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Maybe six. But it wasn't more than it wasn't more than five or six. I know okay. that. I know that for sure. But but yeah, you were saying Daniel Bryan, and Sheamus, and they've got the history. Sheamus is coming yeah. back. They have a match. There's not that many. High I mean, Daniel Bryan could be out there next week on Raw working a match, and Sheamus makes his return as a heel and attacks Daniel Bryan, and they could set up the match. Well, he's that supposed way. to be a heel when he comes back. Right. Well, we reported that. Now, obviously, he's going to get a pop when he comes back. But they could quickly turn it, you know, right there. Well, if he comes out and attacks Daniel Bryan, he's, he's going to get that initial pop. He's, he's a automatically going to yes. be a heel. So I think maybe, I mean, we've only got two more Raws until WrestleMania. God, it doesn't feel like WrestleMania. It doesn't feel like it at all, bro. That's, another, see, that's another thing we talked about. It. Yeah. This card is not no, good, it is man. trash. Usually yeah. a week after the Rumble or somewhere around the Rumble, you're like, yeah. oh, shit, mania. Look at all these big things that are getting ready to start happening. There's nothing happening. You've got, like, Johnson. I mean, you got Undertaker, you got Sting, but yeah. you only hear their voices. You don't see them. Right, And they right. even modulated Sting's voice last night. You know why they did that? I didn't see it. I don't know what you're talking about. There was nothing to see. That you could have heard it if you were listening, but it was. they didn't have Sting appear in, in person. Okay. But we heard his voice, but it was modulated. You know what that means? Where they fuck with your voice, the way it sounds, like okay. a machine kind of sounding thing. Right. So what they did was, and I found out through uh, Dave Meltzer. Okay. Said he uh, he talked to one of his sources backstage, and they said what they told him was that was supposed to be. And you're not going to get this because you weren't a fan back then. This is how you know I'm a fan before the editor. This was supposed <laughs> to be the Black Scorpion Sting. Now fans who really have followed wrestling for a long time will know. Sting was never the Black Scorpion. He was an enemy of the Black Scorpion. The Black Scorpion was supposed to be somebody, I don't remember who it is, and I, shame on me because I should know, but it ended up being Ric Flair in a mask, all black. And the voice was Ole Anderson using a modulated version of his voice, talking. Okay. Sting, I'm gonna, you know, like the Shockmaster kind of thing. Okay. So it turns out they de Sting and Flair, or Sting and the Black Scorpion have a, a cage match. Sting takes the mask off, it's Flair. Oh, shit. Okay. Sting was never the Black Scorpion. <laughs> so WWE screws up his DVD by putting the fake Sting on the back right, cover. Right, right. That's Boy, how little they know. They're fucking up big and time. Now he's, huh? he, the reason they did the voice last night was because they're doing the Black Scorpion Sting because we know his history. No, guys, <laughs> that was his opponent. They, the Black Scorpion was out to get Sting because you know Sting's move. Scorpion Death Drop, Scorpion Death Lock. He would have the Scorpion on the side of his pants. So yeah, Scorpion, Scorpion, Scorpion. The Black Scorpion was a guy that was out to get Sting. It was never Sting, <laughs> so it was completely back. They should stick with the uh, what do they call yeah. them? The 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 Virgil Anti. The Vigilante. Vigil. Yeah, they just the Vigil said. Anti. Right. Somebody in the uh, in the chat room mentioned it. But uh, all right. So, but but uh, not only that, but like John Cena, who's normally a WrestleMania main eventer, kind of mid card this year with Rusev. We're gonna mid card program. Daniel Bryan, main eventer last year, not even announced for WrestleMania at this point. You've got Brock Lesnar, a part-time WWE superstar that we very rarely see. And, and <laughs> Roman Reigns, main event. Roman yeah. Reigns, who is clearly not ready to main event WrestleMania. The main event of WrestleMania is Roman Reigns and Brock can I quote, since you're talking about it now, Brock Lesnar, it's not. after walking out two weeks ago, 
Yeah, we're gonna take about that. Bring gets, that up now. He yeah. gets paid all this money per appearance. Tons. Of, yeah. We're talking a lot of money yeah. per appearance. Right. You break his contract down, he's probably getting six figures per appearance. That's a hundred grand or more. Right. Now, can I quote what Lesnar said last night? Did he say anything? You ready? I don't think. Here's he what said. he said. Yeah. He didn't say anything. It was all. I paid him a hundred grand to stand there while him and talk and do this. Now here's my question That's for you. Me. Here's my question. Please give me that deal. So we know that Brock I'll take Lesner, as many steroids as they give me, man. We know Brock Lesnar walked out at uh, at at Raw a couple of two weeks ago in Nashville, I believe it was. Yeah. Now we know that that Brock Lesnar has. Uh, and then he appeared at UFC the next week. Right, right, right. But yeah. we know that Lesnar has dates left on his WWE contract. Yes. We know that the reason that he walked out on WWE was due to an issue. It looks to be it financial. Was an, it was it an issue. They're negotiating a new deal for when his current right, one expires. There was right. some kind of conflict. And yeah, he walked out. He was like, fuck so, you, I'm leaving. You so, know? we saw Brock Lesnar on Raw last night. And everybody's first assumption is, all right, the issues, whatever they were, have been resolved. Yeah. I... That doesn't mean they're resolved. I, I don't know that. I think... If he doesn't show up, he's breaching his contract. He's breaching his contract. Yeah. So Correct. he's not going to get paid, or they sue the fuck so, out of him, and they get So paid. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe Brock came in last night and had another meeting backstage at Raw with Vince, and who knows? I heard he was in Pittsburgh early in the day. Early, early in the day. Been, so he probably had a meeting, yeah. So they probably had a meeting, but as of last word, neither side wanted to budge on whatever it's that Vince and Lesnar that won't budge, and you know how stubborn both of those motherfuckers are. Both of them are stubborn. And and nobody budging first. Right, right, right. The game so, of chicken. Who's turning first? Right, you know. And not only that, but you mentioned that Brock Lesnar showed up at UFC 184 yes. uh, this past weekend. If you don't think for one weekend. second, for wh- or the weekend before, yeah. if you don't think for one second that that wasn't a power play move by Brock Lesnar yeah. to basically send a message to WWE and then have Dana White Double. come out, then have Dana White come out and say, when Brock's WWE contract is up, we'll talk. Well, All right, been we'll saying that for months. But, but here's but, the thing: it wasn't just a power play to fuck you, Vince. I don't need you. Which no. is, it was half of that. The it other was, half was he did was, need to meet with Dana to see what the uh, the deal would be there. Like, right, what, right, what are right. you prepared to offer me? Now, legally, I don't think he's allowed to negotiate, so that's why he appeared on camera in case word got out that he was there. They could maybe sue him, like, oh, what the fuck are you meeting with Dana for? You're not allowed to be fucking taking... He can say... You're not allowed to be negotiating. You're not allowed to be negotiating. You're under a contract to us. <laughs> right, 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 You can't right. negotiate with someone else. But if he's just there to attend the show, and that's why Dana said, apparently Brock's a UFC fan, and he... He didn't wink, but it was like Dana. Dana basically said, "Brock's a UFC fan." You Apparently, know. wink, wink. You no, he's know. not a fan. He was there unless, to talk business. Unless you are yeah. stupid, you know that yes, Brock is that not allowed. Closed door meeting. Brock is not allowed to negotiate with Dana White or UFC. Correct. He's under WWE contract. Unless you are stupid, you know uh, that Brock Lesnar and Dana White. Dim, damn well sat down. They talk dollars. Whether it yeah. has been in a hotel room, probably in a hotel probably room. In a, probably in a room at the <laughs> uh, stadium. It, it happened behind a closed door, but I guarantee you, Brock Lesnar and Dana White Maybe sat Lorenzo down there. You never and know. Yeah. said, let's talk business. Nobody's going to know. We're behind the closed door. It's me, it's you, and Lorenzo. Correct. Let's talk business. But, but, if word leaked out, that that happened, yeah. then there would be a problem. So how do you cover it up? So how do you cover it up? You have Brock Lesnar. Put on a nice a suit. View. Be on camera. You so have, hey, I got nothing to hide. I'm right here. You have a I'm just the watching the show. And that's why I Dana just came to watch the UFC. And Dana, what are you talking about? comment in that interview backstage. The smart-ass comment, He too. says, I quote, <laughs> apparently Brock Lesnar's a UFC fan, end quote. That's what he said. Now, you know okay. what that means? Uh, that means he was he only was, here as a fan, he was, guys. It means he yeah. was here. He just wanted to watch some fights. <laughs> what it really means is he was me. He was here to talk business with me. Yeah. But y'all ain't gonna know that <laughs> because guy lives in Saskatchewan, <laughs> in Canada. Shows in Los Angeles. He's not that big of a fan. The guy never leaves his house for anything. You know he doesn't have yeah, a man. phone. He's got to drive three miles to does get to he, the. He doesn't have a does landline he. or a cell phone. <laughs> All that right. we know so, of. All right, so gotcha. I don't know. I don't know that the Brock Lesnar. I think he's basically using UFC and WWE as a power play move between both companies, especially UFC, uh, especially WWE. Well, here's what it is: the fact that he attended uh, UFC because two weeks ago he walked out. Obviously, and we know because he was negotiating a potential new deal with WWE. Right. So what it is 
and you just threw me off looking at the clock. What was I going to say? What it is, okay, what it is, is that he needs to find, while he's negotiating with WWE, he knows what they're willing to give him. Obviously, there was a sticking point that he wasn't happy about. Right. So what he needs to find out is, is that going to beat what they're going to offer me at the UFC? Let me go find out. Right. And then when he finds out, he's either got me mega leverage, because if WWE doesn't give him whatever he wants that they're not giving him, then he, says he either to has to right. suck it up and take it, because it's yep. still better than what they're offering me, or he just found out, well, theirs is better, so you either give me that, or fuck you, I'm not signing. That's what it is. And that's what that that's was. That's what it is. So, anyways, and the fact that he returned on Raw, maybe UFC offered him less. No, 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 no. The fact that he returned on Raw... Been, or it could have been, I don't want to breach my contract, I'm going to... I want to get the money that I'm owed here, so and i got to stand there and look tough while Heyman talks. All right, I, I, I don't want a lawsuit. Yeah. I'm going to finish out these dates. doesn't mean he's backing team. down. If, right. he, if he doesn't sign the paper, he ain't backing down. If he signs exactly. the paper, exactly. he's backing down, or he got his way. Exactly. But the fact that he was on Raw, all that means is he wants to get the money that he's got on his current deal. We had uh, Dean Ambrose and Stardust back on uh, on Raw. Yep. I think we had Our truth on commentary here, I believe. Was it this one? Was it this match or was it another match? No, there was like a three-match stretch. Where oh, Archie this was, was uh, Daniel Bryan and Wade Barrett. That's where he was on. Oh, then this was it too because he started on this one. He was still there on this one. Okay, all right. That's and then wait a minute. Where is the, there was three match. Go up. Uh, I guess not. The I opening segment. No, and then we had Daniel Bryan and uh, Bad News Barrett. Uh, how about, I mean, while we're on the subject of, of Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman comes out. Uh, with I Brock. didn't really watch a lot of this because I was busy catching up on play-by-play, -play, so I didn't hear a lot of it, but I heard well, it was great. Paul basically came out, cut a promo. Um, a screw job in Montreal, if you try and screw us. He referenced, yeah, yeah, and that was interesting, too, because everybody knows, I mean, at least the internet marks, That's or the people that read, uh, basically referencing the internet that you guys know that there have been some issues uh, with Brock Lesnar, and if you decide to screw us at WrestleMania, yeah. um, we're not gonna we're not gonna have it. No. All right, we are not. Kill you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brock, Brock, Brock will kill you. Yeah, Brock will yeah, kill yeah. you, man. So that was the basic gist of that. Paul Heyman, once again, the microphone He's last good, night. I He's put good. him as my number two talker. I. I have to think about that a little bit more, but there, he's he's up there as as one of the obviously top Rock's five. funnier and more entertaining, right, but Heyman right. I think probably does a better job of driving home whatever he's selling. Right, right. I think we had Big Show and Kane against Ryback and uh, Rowan. Boy, I will tell you what, man, it's like one week they've got Ryback out there cutting these promos, man. Yeah, what happened to his push? Looks, looks like he's the next big thing, yeah. and then all of a sudden he's in a tag team match getting jobbed out against the Big Show and Kane. He's King. just another guy. When he first came back, they were him. starting to give him a push again. He had that long promo where he told his life story. Right, right, right. You know, and all that. But now he's just another guy? I think he's got all the potential. What's I he really doing in WrestleMania, by the way? What the fuck's Ryback? Oh, he's, he's in, in that. Yeah, uh, Andre. Andre okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Ryback's So he's got doing nothing. I think, I, think Ryback, I think Ryback could be a big deal. I really do, dude. I think Ryback, down the line, could be a big deal. You know what I, I think the problem is? Go ahead. Every time they start pushing him... They cut his nuts off. He's got an ego, man. That too. I think he's got an ego. I think he's got a big head. Um, and they see that. I mean, it doesn't go unnoticed. And the second they start pushing it, we've seen it time and time again. Yeah. They push him, they push him, they push him. And then the, the next week, he's right back down. He's just it's, another it's, guy right now. That's for damn sure. Right now, yeah. yeah. We had uh, AJ Lee defeated Summer Rae. They announced a uh, Divas Tag Team match. For Mania, yeah. For Mania. Uh, AJ Bellas Page. against AJ and Page. And the Bellas might be gone, so... I never know. Give me a break. Dude. Listen, I know it's a storyline on Total Divas, but it's also possibly true. They... Alright. WWE Total Divas. Listen, if you look at it from a television... They filmed it in November, yeah, bro. And guess what? She had that title run... At Survivor Series has started, she just lost the title. What's the last ditch effort when WWE knows a guy or a girl is either not wanting they to resign or leaving? They give him the Let's title. Let's try and give him the title and make him our right. biggest deal in whatever they're doing. She's well, the biggest deal of the Divas. Brie, Maybe that'll convince her to stay. Brie wants to get pregnant. We know that. Uh, Brie, Brie wants to start a family. Yeah. And if that happens, Brie goes away. She starts Maybe a family. Maybe that's why Brian's not getting pushed. Cause she's not, she's not going to be able to wrestle, obviously, if she's pregnant. <laughs> but what you saw on Total Divas, number one, that entire show? Bro, their contract wasn't up yet. 
No, it wasn't. It was yeah. up in a couple of weeks. No, it was they up did in not like say that. Weeks. All yes, they, they said did. was it's up soon. That's, I just watched it today. He wanted an answer. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Mark Carano. Mark Carano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted an answer within the yeah. next couple of weeks when Total Divas ended. Not only that, no, but no, no. He said, that you show me right is now. So Are you prepared? Scripted. Yeah, I know. But it's still, there's hints of reality in it. it it's like a half-assed reality show. I don't know, man. I think that show was filmed back in November at yeah. Survivor Series. So you've got... What does that mean? You've got December, January, February, yeah. March. You're four months... Do you months, know when their contract's up? Four months. If they Let's were say being, it's up in July. How do you they, know? If they were being given a contract renewal yeah. back in November... Yeah. Four Let's months... Let's say you got six months left four of your months, deal. Let's say you got six months left of your deal. We want to get you re-signed. Some, they do it a lot of times when there's a year left on people's deals. Let's I, get them re-signed I think before they have a year to fucking start fishing offers other places. I, I, I think if Corona walks up to them and he's got new contracts and says, I need to hear so from you. So why do you believe that part, but you don't believe the other part? Like, that part's true I don't, to you. I don't, I don't. It's I'm all saying, fake to you until, oh, but he gave him contracts. All right, all right. Corona, it's all fake. Corona walks up, but let's say that, let's say it is real. Let's say I'm not Corano, saying it is, but I'm saying, I just said it could be. Let's say that Corona walks up and says, uh, listen, your contracts are expiring in the near future. I need an answer from you within the next couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, we want to know what you want to do. Let's say that that's the real deal, all right, that their contracts were Which expiring. I'm not saying it is. All right, but, but I'm, I'm saying not a chance. But let's say it, show it does the job, by the way. Look what we're doing right now. All right, all right show but, work. But let's say that their contracts <clears throat> are expiring within... However, however long. Yeah. I'm Obviously, they haven't signed through Mania. If, They're not going to have it expire right before Mania. I'm thinking that would be if, stupid. If contracts expire at all different they, points if throughout they, the year. Yeah. But if you sign a person to a, a multi-year deal, you make sure you look at your calendar. When's Mania? All right. If there are fucking two of our top divas, we got to make sure they're signed past Mania, and then either they resign or they don't. Who don't, cares? We got Mania done. I don't right know away. if they were WWE's top divas. Remember, they both they've always been named they divas both, that are bigger they than both them. Left WWE. Yeah. For a couple of years. All right. Left. Looking at the divas division. And then division, they came back. Looking at the divas division, other than AJ and Paige, who would who would other divas top divas would you put in it? And, and divas. Let's say they came back uh, in November. I don't know when the Bell t- Bell Twins returned, but let's. Let's say they back. came back. Let's say they came back a couple of years ago when they left, yeah. and then they came back. Right and they now, came back who are the top divas in WWE? The Bell Twins and Paige and AJ. But they were already under contract. Let's say that. Let's say that three or four years ago, when the Bell Twins came back to WWE, all right, they came back in. We'll say November or December. All right, okay. that's when they came back. They signed two or three year deals. All right, those contracts <coughs> are going to expire. In November or December yeah. of the current year. Correct. So they film that. So you're it's basing whatever. everything off. Oh, they signed in November. We don't know when the fuck. We don't they know. Signed. We don't so know. You're guessing right That's now. That's what I'm saying. But what, what what you're saying is they're not going to have their contracts expire right before WrestleMania. No. It all depends on when those contracts were signed. If your contract it's not is not always an exact two year or three year or one year or four year. So I'm gonna, gonna, it's like an 18 month or a 24 be, month or a 27 be. months. Absolutely. They cover their bases to make sure if they need it for something, we need to at least get past this date. And then they either sign or don't. Who cares? We'll be done with them by then if they I don't know. If, if, if the big show, for example, uh, we reported, uh, I think like two years ago, that the big show signed a, a five or a 10 year Can contract. I ask you this question? With How long is there no compete clause? 90, 90 days. 90 days. How many months is that? Three. Three months. Okay. So what does that tell you? What does what tell me? If their contract expires here, they still can't do anything until three months later. What is So that? you get through Mania, and they can't fucking turn up on TNA or something like that and fucking jump ship. Like you're saying, it's got to be a strict year-to-year thing. It's not just a year-to-year because you got a year-to-year and then three months. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. But they sign guys all the time. To five-year contracts with WWE, yeah. dude. They're not looking. Oh, WrestleMania is coming up in March or April. Boy, we got to get them past there. Yeah, they are. If they sign in, if November, they're an important person, yes, they are. I don't they're know. They're making they sure are. they got their asses covered. Think, we got to make sure it, we're I, covered through this show at least. I think a contract is mainly. a contract, man. If somebody signs in August of 2011, they've got a five-year contract that's going to run yeah. through August of 2011 until August of 2016, all mm-hmm. right? It's a five-year contract. No matter where that expires, <laughs> that's 
where it's going to expire, But if you're a man. top star and in, in your contract, let's just say it's true, they signed in November. It all depends on when the contract well, expires. You can't. But if they signed in November four years ago, whatever the hell you're saying, and they re-signed them to a three-year deal, and they know, oh shit, so they might be up in November, that means, why, did they st why are they still working right now? Obviously, it didn't expire in November. So if their contracts are up and it's true, right. you don't know when the hell they sign. Their contracts could be up the day after Mania, for all we know. So I'm not arguing the fact that it might be a strict three-year deal. I will say deal. this. I will say this. The Bella Twins, I don't think, on leaving WWE. I think that I was all for drama. Not, yeah. That's how the show drama, ended. Yeah. By the way, that's how Total Divas ended. Yeah. Hey, are you going to sign a contract? And you got both Bella Twins. You're, you're Brie, I'm Nikki. You're, you're Nikki, I'm Brie, right? Okay. I don't know, Bree. Are, are we gonna? Are we gonna sign? Well, they just looked at each other, and they look at each other, and the show goes off the air. Oh, <laughs> oh man, oh, we got to We got to wait. Well, that's they straight told him that he said, "Are you prepared to tell me right now that you are no longer WWE Beavis?" And then one of them, I forget who started, he said, "No, we need to think Nick, about it." No, Nikki said yes, and then Bree said yes. They both officially said on the air. You're right. Are you're you right, prepared you're not right, to right, be WWE? Okay, they right, said yes right, and yes. Right. And that's how the show ended. That's how the show ended. Yeah. But clearly yeah. drama <laughs> set up for this show. But it doesn't mean it's not true. It just it means like we don't know when their contracts are up, if they've already re-signed, if they're planning on re-signing. That part we don't know. But we do know that there's something there, at least. Or at least there was back in All November. Right, so, so back in November, they yeah. both said, yes, we're leaving WWE. And yes. they end the show like that, right? December, January, February, we're into March, right? The next season of Total Divas doesn't start until July. So we got December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Eight months. Eight months. Yeah. <laughs> but yet but it's the already, Bellas They don't are start leaving. filming in July, dickhead. They've already filmed the next season. But yet season. the Bellas are leaving. They've already filmed it. Get out of here. They've already filmed Get it. They were on Raw last night. Raw was live. They've already filmed the next season of Total Divas. They, they haven't started about. filming. It. They it doesn't start airing until July. They've already filmed when, it. They, they said that last week. Last yeah. week. I remember putting it up on the website. Well, you show me that article. Last week. Last week. I'll okay. show it to you during the break. Do you guys remember on the websites within the past week or two, they started filming. we reported yeah. that they had just started filming WWE Total Divas Season 4. We put it up on the website. It's up on WZROnline.com. I'll show it to Boone here. I don't want to do break. this. You know why? Because there, this is there, there's so many things to this that you're going to convince yourself We're that you're right and I'm wrong because of an article that said, oh, they just started filming two months ago. That doesn't prove anything to what I'm trying to say. I'm having a hard time trying to tell you what I'm thinking here. You, what are you you're trying to tell me? I'm saying there's a chance these bitches are done they're in not the near future. Done. In they're the near not. future. Not now, obviously. They were fucking on TV last night. And they're going to be at Mania. Obviously. They're already booked. But they could be done in the near future. We don't know when the hell their deals are up. We have no idea. If they're filming... Totally they could Their deals could be up. They ain't leaving any time Their soon. deals could be up. Not they, Their deals couldn't be up till August. But maybe for the fake reality show, they said they're up to end the season that way. That doesn't right. mean that they were up then... But it could mean because their deals are up in August and they're telling WWE, yeah, we might not be re-signing. All right, cool. Well, let, let's at least get something out of this. How about we end this season of Total Divas with a tease that they're leaving? How about we end this... Yes, please. Hour, the love of God. hour one of WWE. I got to piss so fucking bad. The Bellas ain't leaving WWE. I'm not saying they are, bro. No, I know. But they're not Jesus leaving. Jesus Christ. They're not leaving. Okay. And you know what? They re-signed their contracts. They've got they might have. They do. They might have. Oh, they do. All right. <laughs> You're listening to WCR right. TV. Rapid Fire. Oh, Rapid Fire. <laughs> uh, submit your Rapid Fire questions. Tell them. I don't have the Bellas theme, do I? Fuck. No, I don't. No Bell. No. <laughs> um, you go to Facebook.com yeah. slash Ryan Clark WZR. That's Facebook.com slash. Is he still inhaling? Ryan Clark WZR. Let us know what you'd like to talk about in the second hour in the rapid fire statement. Give us your questions. Give us your comments. Please keep them brief. If they're a big giant paragraph, maybe this is the week we say no and we don't read them. But anyways, facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Let us know what you want to talk about. We'll talk about it. When's your contract up for WZR TV? I didn't sign one. I'm smart. <laughs> no, enough. you didn't sign no. one. <laughs> I'm not even wearing a shirt this week. What do you think of that? I'm told it's up in like nine or ten months from now. Is it? Man, but I need you to resign right no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> You're listening to WZR TV. <laughs> this fucker right here, Matt Boone. This fucking guy. I'm Ryan Clark. <laughs> we'll be back right after this. Sign that contract, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.
This is still my fifth and sixth beer, and technically it's my fourth and a half, fifth and a half beer because I gave a half away. I haven't had. I owe you a half a beer. We'll count them later. When these two are done, I will have drank four and a half beers, not even five and a half, because I just gave you my fifth and a half beer. It's not right. You're gonna have drink. Oh my God, he's five and a half beers. All right, five and a half beers, not four and a half. No, not five and a half. We're even with beers. Except for I'm up a half on you. We'll do it off the air, but you're dumb as shit right now. You're dumb as shit. Okay, let's do a show. You're a real dumb guy sometimes. I gotta tell you something. I owe him a half a beer. Anybody watching can figure the math out for themselves. Anybody can figure the math out. Nobody knows what we drank before we came on here tonight. Dickhead. Everybody that's been watching the show knows that I took a half a beer from Matt Boone tonight. You all know that, right? And I admit that. I took a half a beer from Matt Boone. Other than that, everything's even. So I owe Boone. I just had number I five and six in my hand. I gave you number because six. Because one of those wasn't yours. Yes, one of was. those was mine. You just took it out of the fridge. I told you when I took them out. I, I had five and six. These two are mine. You said, well, come on, give me one. I'll get you one when she comes back. Oh, you're a, you are you're fucking idiot. crazy. Let's do bro. a show. You are crazy. Let's do a show, bro. The reason you had beers Let's over there is because you just took them out of the fridge. Let's do a show. Which one of those was mine? No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I had, had four beers. We're all live chat room. WCR online. A dot com. Another fucking dot com. Slash chat. WCR online. Boy, I hate stupid dot com. You guys hate chat. stupid people. It's can't irritating, right? Stupid motherfuckers. I'd like to oh, fucking God. jump them out. Oh, God. At least I got my I beer back. Stupidity. At least I got my beer back. No, you I owe you a half. Me. I owe you a half, but no. that's okay. But, uh... But anyways, so listen. Well, I'm listening. The Bella Twins. Oh, this is the funny joke that I still don't get. Yeah. He said listen. this will be funny. I, said, I didn't okay. say it was going to be funny. I, I thought it was funny when we were in the break. <clears throat> we had just come out of the break. We were talking about the Bella Twins contracts with WWE. I went into my room. I see on TNA's official Twitter account that Matt Hardy has now signed a full-time contract with WWE. <laughs> I turned to Boone, I turned to Boone, I and I that said, point. that'll be a good lead-in, man. We left off talking left. about contracts, we left off talking yeah. about the Bella Twins, their contracts with WWE. Somebody in the world good, signed the contract. This will be it? a good lead-in, <laughs> no. seeing as we went out of our number one, well. talking about the Bella's WWE contracts. We come back in hour number oh, two, contract. talking about Matt Hardy signed a new contract. Makes sense, right? Fuck this come out of hour number one, talking about contracts. Oh. Come into hour number two, talking about contracts. Different company, TNA, Matt Hardy Different people. signed a full-time deal with TNA. Doesn't matter, talking <laughs> about contracts in hour one, talking about contracts at the beginning of our numero Ironic. Dos. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Matt Hardy, full-time contract with TNA Wrestling. So, what do you think? I mean, Matt I Hardy, hilarious. be honest with you. When's the last time he's been on TNA? Was it during all them uh, overseas tapes? You know what? He's been working Because they were doing the, uh, it was the Wolves, Team 3D, and the Hardys. They were trying to reenact the Hardys, Edge of Christian, and, and the Dudleys. Remember? And they would have Team 3D, the Dudleys. Right. They would have the Hardys, the Hardys. And right. then they would have the Wolves doing the Edge and Christian role. And they were doing those three tag team... Matches over and over and over again at the taping. Right, right, right. So I guess that was the last time Matt Hardy was in TNA. That's the last time well, Matt he's been working I don't for TNA. He's, he's been working for We don't get it. Uh, <laughs> man. Well, they say we do. The guy now. says we, yeah. uh, we get it here. He's from um, upstate New York. So. But uh, basically, uh, Matt Hardy's been working, and you see this all the time, especially with guys like uh, Davey Richards, and uh, I know Eddie Edwards is, is injured right now. That's the one that got injured. But I knew one of them did. You always see guys like Davey Richards, Eddie Edwards, Matt Hardy. You see them working Ring of Honor. You see them working. Yeah, some of them have deals where they're allowed to. Right outside. Somebody deals. in the chat just said that. Oh, with TNA, I thought he was going back to ROH. He's allowed. Yeah. To see, do. that's the deal. Well, he was. Maybe his new deal won't let that's, it. That's 
that may be right. it where if TNA's now got him under contract full time, which is what That's their what wording said. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the fact that they worded it that Matt Hardy's full time with TNA now right. probably means that he's locked into See, some sort of exclusive deal. So he deal. was in his old deal, which was a short term deal with TNA. He was allowed to do Ring of Honor. Right, right. Now, if he signed a full long term contract, maybe he's not, which is yeah, the equivalent yeah. of Nikki Bella not being able to host that extra show anymore. Ah, uh, <laughs> I try. That's how I you try make to take all this I try to take him serious. I try yeah. to get back on top, and yeah. he brings back up the Bella Twins. I tried to make a joke five out of minutes after joke, the fact. Get out of here! <laughs> but anyway, you owe uh, me a beer and so a half, by the way. I owe you a half a beer, man. We'll I owe you a half a beer. Yeah, we'll talk about it, man. Are you gonna feel real dumb in a second? Oh, guess not. what? I saved my empties. All right. There was my first two. Three. There was my third. Four. Five. Where's my six? That ain't all from tonight. That's all. Right. Right. I saved my empties. I threw every one of them away that I had last night. I had a tower of them. Nah. And I'm actually realizing I'm wrong as I'm sitting here. Hopefully you don't. Right, it out. right. No, I'm seeing it. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. and I owe you the half. And the half. Right. You're right. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Damn it. Boom. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> But let me tell you something. You're right. God let me tell you, you, let me tell you me. something. Yeah. I had her go down and get a six-pack. I know, I know, I know. So we do got a six-pack of call boys on the way. Cause Dude, I don't want to talk, talk about it anymore. No, when we go off the air here tonight, we've got SmackDown and everything. I don't have anything. I'm yeah, capped out. But you know how it goes. Yeah, well, I got uh, MMA if anything happens. On Tuesday night. Anyways, uh, get to our... <laughs> it's Take not a out, bro. Take a bow. I'll yeah. be honest with you. <laughs> it's not a lot that I win. Normally <laughs> this guy, normally this guy proves me wrong to be I straight really up honest I was right with you too, guys. Man. But whatever. Uh, WZROnline.com. Motherfucking dot com. Slash chat. WZROnline.com slash chat. What else do we have to get to? We got from the mod thing you wanted to talk about. Yeah. Are we done with Raw? I mean, the, we had the main event. Go back. Let's I don't go to the main we event. Skipped. We did the um, Heyman. <coughs> uh, Rusev Axel Mania. That's where Cena got Rusev to make the match because he held him in the thing. We had said that last week that there's going to be a situation. You and I both yes. had brought it up last week that Cena's probably going to have Rusev in some sort of position. This one I remember where correctly. I'll let you share the credit, but it was my idea. And you said, yeah, oh, you know what, you're right, that's what they're going to do. All right, I, I think I remember doing that too, man. But anyways, saying yes. they were right. They but did exactly what we said. They would They would have, Rusev would be put <clears throat> in a situation where he had to accept the I match. straight up said the STF, too. Yeah. I said, he's going to put him in the submission, and may, he's going to hold him there until Lana says, fine, you get your match. Right. right that's right. exactly what they did last night. That, that was it. It was basically going to be a situation yeah. where Rusev was going to be put in a position where he yeah. had to accept the match, or Lana, Lana had to accept yeah. the match on, on his behalf. And that's what happened last night in Raw. So, and you knew that they had to set up Orton and Rollins, and you knew that they had to set up Rusev and Cena because it's only two you more Raws until WrestleMania. When does Lana take time off? Do we know that? Uh, when is the movie being filmed? I don't know. I know. Now I'm starting if to think, anybody in the uh, chat room knows. Because now I'm starting to think Rusev didn't agree to shit. He that's was in a true. submission. Lana agreed for uh, him. I mean, fire. And then he goes on to lose yeah. for the first time ever at the yeah. biggest show of them all. His first Mania singles match, I but think. I don't think he was in the He didn't election. accept the match. He didn't accept Lana it. Did. Lana right, did. She's right. about to take time off. He could come out after Mania and say, I point. didn't agree to the match. You dumb broad. You know, this is not what he's going to say. But basically, the storyline would be, you accepted without me wanting to do it. You know what I mean? Like, Something you're fired. Like Get out of here. And he fires she her. She takes time her. off. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right. Something like that. I right. don't think that's going to happen, but they could do that if the timing where she's taking time off is right after Mania. It's a good point you bring up. It would up, be the perfect storyline. That would be the way to get out of it with Lana. That being would explain why she's TV. off TV. Right. And then, right, yeah, right. they could do whatever they want when she comes back. Uh, oh, the Undertaker thing. We should talk about oh, that. Yeah, yeah, Wyatt yeah. Why did a do. couple of promos backstage? I thought that. All right. Paul Heyman uh, every week. Paul Heyman promos. I didn't like it that much. He didn't like it. I, I thought, like I thought we talked about it last night. You said that was pretty cool. No. You can't. You predicted, yo, know, the 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 fucking lightning's gonna hit the ring. Something's gonna catch on fire, and it would right, 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 right. up being Sister Abigail rocking chair, whatever the fuck. Right, right, right. Um, but no, I, I mean, no, it was cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be a fucking Scrooge bah humbug. Right, guy right, here. right. But right. I was hoping to see, and now I'm starting to think because we had heard and we reported, Taker is not supposed to be on TV all the way to Mania, but there right. will be an angle shot where he accepts the challenge. Mm -hmm. 
Last night he accepted the challenge for all intents and purposes. We heard his voice. What came up on the screen again? What was it? Uh, the man comes around. The man comes around, Which and is that is a, a Johnny Cash song. And in the past, Taker had used a. Ain't no, I don't even remember the words, but it was a Johnny Cash song that he used. No, not ain't sunshine. no sunshine. That's Anderson nah. Silva. It was a. Uh, it sounds kind of like that. Yeah, but no, anyways, I know what you're talking about. He came about. after that song, and then it switched to the gong. And right, right. That right. was his entrance one year. Supposedly, whatever this, the Man Comes Around song is, that might be his entrance. So do you think that's what, that, that's what I'm going to ask you? Do you yeah. think at WrestleMania, the Johnny Cash theme hits, Either the, and then you hear the gong? Yeah, or the then, other way around. One or the other. They're doing, it's probably the Johnny Cash song, and then the gong, and then that's it comes gonna out. That's going to piss me off, man. Ain't no man. Yeah, yeah, I know it, too, around the top of my head. Ain't no... I don't even know if it's ain't no, but it sounds the same. No, way. it is. It starts out with ain't no. Ain't no way you're gonna survive. I don't know what the fuck. Somebody it is, in the chat that's gonna fucking bug me, yeah. man. Ain't no. Ain't no grave can hold me, my body it. down. Ain't yeah. no grave can credit. hold my body down. Robbie, A K A Crazy Roller in the yes. chat room. He's there right. it is, And Jericho Hall got it too. All right, no yeah. doubt, no doubt. Ain't no grave can hold me my down. Bo- can't anyway, hold my body down. Yeah. Can't hold my body down. But anyway, so I think that's probably what's going to happen at WrestleMania, where he'll come out to that All Johnny right, so Cash. So the new, con- I think this is what he's saying. Gates with a Z in the chat. By the way, WZROnline.com slash chat. Get in there. Everybody's having fun. He uh, Gates with a Z says, there's a man going around taking names. That's probably what the, the leader that's saw. Yeah, uh, okay. Because right, there's a man right. coming around or the man going around. That's what It came up on the Titan Tron out of nowhere. Right, 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 right. So basically, we're jumping all ahead here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Early in the show, Bray Wyatt, last week on SmackDown to start it. Mm-hmm. He stole the, uh, the urn, the Undertaker's urn. Okay. So he's cutting promos with the urn on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. On Raw, same thing. He's backstage, he's cutting a promo with the urn, but it's very quick. And basically, long story short, pretty much what he said that's important was, find me. Like, come find me, Undertaker. Right, right, like right, right, And then he did a second promo backstage where he said pretty much the same thing. Come find me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he goes to the ring later in the show, which is where we're at now. He's got the urn sitting on a table with like a purple blanket over it or some right. shit. Right, right, right. He's talking, he's going, he's going, he's going. Finally, the lights go out. Gong! Right, right. Gong! Uh, long story short, lightning takes, strike comes he down. He took the lid off the urn. That's where it was. And then nothing happened. He sets it down on the table, which is why the table's there, because it was a smoke machine. <laughs> right, 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 right. Filtering yeah. underneath it. Obvious. That was the big magic trick right. there. But, anyways, right. smoke starts <laughs> pouring out of the urn. Somebody and, put up a photo. Uh, yeah. They were in the front row of Raw last night. And the back side of the, this, the back side of the table or something didn't have the cloth over it, really? so it had the smoke. <laughs> and a guy took a photo oh, of under, underneath the table of a smoke machine, and so, he put, yeah. he put, nice try, WWE, <laughs> or something like that. That's funny. But anyway, so yeah, the smoke's coming out of the urn, and I don't really remember. The Lightning strike nice. comes down. Long and hits. story short, yeah, the gong hits, and then I might be out of order here. The gong hits. Lightning hits the ring, it fucking hit, uh, oh no, the lights go out, when the lights come back on, Sister Abigail's chair is sitting there with a spotlight on it in the right, ring. Right, right, right. And I think maybe the lights go out again, or something, anyways, long story short, lightning hits, bam, hits the chair, the chair's on fire, Explosive. Wyatt goes from kind of nervous to, ah, laughing you know like what a crazy I, that's person, what I like and then real quick, we heard Undertaker's voice. Saying you at WrestleMania 31, you will rest in peace. Right, right. And then but a that's man comes what I around, like. Shows on the Titan Tron. That's what I liked. Anybody else would be like, "Oh my God, Lightning!" You know, "Oh my God, it's the Undertaker." Bray Wyatt, the fact that he just laughs, like you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that aspect because if it was anybody else. They'd be, they'd be running away, and oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. what are we going to do? You Which he I mean? kind of did a little bit at first. He did it first. And then, then when he, he realized, he, what he, did it, he did it when he wasn't sure what was going on. Right. When he heard Taker's voice, the lightning and the fire and everything, and he realized, oh, Taker just accepted, he kind of laughed like, yeah. oh, I got what I want. Right. Uh, see, I yeah. thought, it, I thought. listen, it's a little bit corny for you older guys that are there. But if you're a kid, that's probably cool as shit. Or if you're a kid, you're probably scared. Yeah. Because well, Jacob, we had Jacob he in was, there, He dude. wasn't scared. No, he wasn't scared, but yeah. his eyes... He was glued to the TV. He wouldn't I have away. Ne- even during he a Cena, away. Even during a John Cena segment. I have never seen him that fucking... He was so focused. Because Just the, fucking glued because to the Because he TV. had the, the lights were out. He loves fireworks. Mm-hmm. Any fireworks to uh, open That's up. what he kept saying. Fireworks, fireworks. Yeah, By yeah. the way, I know this happened months ago, right? But nobody ever mentioned anything about it. The pyro to open Raw is back every week. 
it and went there away. Was a time, well, there was a time for a couple of years. You know what it is? There was no pirate open. And listen, it's not anything new. I know that this started months ago. But the pyro. But well, here's how I remember it. And you can tell me if on. I'm wrong because I don't really pay attention. I'm so glued into play by play when the show starts. As you know, I really go ham for the first fucking right. segment. I'll say the first hour. Right. Well, I go nuts, and then I kind of relax, because usually dinner's ready by, by about 9 o'clock. You guys eat late as fuck here. Uh, and I'll be, like, eating dinner and typing at the same time. But at the first hour, I'm fucking here. Right. So when Raw would open, I think it would be, if they started off immediately with somebody coming out, they would skip the pyro. Mm. And then if it was a week where they go straight to the, the uh, Raw opening video, which sometimes they don't even have the video. Right. Like, did they even have it last night? Last night they had it, but sometimes they do pay per view recaps or and then they go straight into the, the venue. Yeah, right, 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 right. So and when they usually when they start off with somebody coming out, they skip the pyro. But when they go straight to the video and then come into the building, blah, 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 right, 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 Welcome right, right. the Monday Night Raw. Michael Cole doing his thing. You right. know, Cole. All right, so here's the deal. We can finish up my well, real quick. The, there's we'll a, there was this thing thing we already talked about. I want to get the phone calls. I know, in I know. Rapid fire too. So we'll there was go, one uh, other big thing. I think we're. We're forgetting. Let's see, real quick. We had uh, that Naomi matters, pin Natalia. Oh, no, then straight to the Orton where he, he finally turned. Oh, uh, uh, Randy Orton finally turned. He had enough yeah. with our uh, Rollins. Beat right. the fuck out of Rollins. Long beat down. Baby face. So we know it's we. It's not official yet, but we've been reporting it before Orton even returned. It's official. Orton Rollins at Mania. Right. So there you go. That's It'll Rollins. be announced. Probably grade. confirmed. Uh, school letter grade. You know, I... I I, I'm, I was going to go C, C minus, somewhere around there. I give it uh, a D. I like the Heyman promo. Heyman uh, Taker was love it. Love the me. Heyman promo. Taker stuff was. Uh, Wiz was Khalifa good. was a fucking snooze fest. And I like I Wiz Khalifa. That. We end the show yeah. every week yeah. with the Drake song, Start from the Bottom, but right. I play the remix where Wiz comes in. Oh, do you? Came in a game and a game and a bit of the face. You know, right, that's what he right. says. So. But I like Wiz Khalifa. Alright, so, here we go. Open the uh, phone lines. They're saying they're getting nothing All but right. voicemail. Yeah, right? we don't have it open it's yet, going, guys. It's going straight to voicemail. So let us load this up, and you guys will be able to call up. Once we get it loaded, we'll give out the uh, live phone number here in just a little bit. By the way, we're live chat room at WZRonline.com. Dot com. Uh, slash chat, WZRonline.com slash chat. Lots and lots of people in there, as always, tonight. The two main eventers, there was Brock Lesnar, who, as we said, just did this. Stood there and looked tough while he yeah. talked. And Rains. gets paid. And gets paid six figures. Six figures. <laughs> but, Rains, yeah. Who knows what he gets paid? But he didn't really do anything last night either. No, he didn't. Those are the he's, two guys headlining he's mania. The main event of The yeah. two guys headlining mania yeah. didn't say a word. Didn't yeah. really do anything. And we're afterthoughts in both of their segments. And we're two weeks away. And we're two weeks Three away. Weeks away. Last, last night, night was the third yeah, to the last crawl. You know what I mean? It's so that's crazy, man. That's that's unique. All right, give us a call right now if you guys want. It's uh, 518-712-3070. 518-712-3070. Real quick, what happened to Rusev? Because I want to prepare for Jackie's call because we know that's what she's going to talk about. Um, oh, he gave up and agreed to the rematch. You right, 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 right. So that she's going to ask some kind of question about that. That's that 516. 586. 586. Yeah, I think so. All right, so here we go. We're going to do uh, your uh, live phone calls. Rapid fire, we don't have too many tonight, so we'll be able to spend a little bit of time on them tonight. I think this is Dino UK because it's a UK number. No, it isn't. It's not? I don't think so. There's think Jackie so. calling in now, though. Mm-hmm. I'm hold her <coughs> Call you live on WZR TV. What's up? Uh, hey, guys. It's Stephen Kerbeck in the chat room. I knew it. I was just about to say it. Man. All right. Yeah. Stephen Is this the guy that's going to call me? He's going to talk about the bills and tell you how wrong you are. Probably. I'm guessing. <laughs> Stephen, what's on your mind this week, brother? We love you, man. Yeah, I love you too, guys. Yeah, uh, it, it was 47 yards, by the way. Uh, Thank Mark. you, 47 <laughs> yards. Hey, but wait a minute. What was the thing? Uh, there, somebody kicked a... Have you Googled it? Have you checked uh Somebody, somebody. it was like a 21 or a 23-yard chip shot that he missed. Am I wrong? No, no, bro. Bro, come on. It was like one of the most infamous plays in the history of Thank the you. Super Bowl. Come on, bro. Steven, do me that. a favor. Steven, <laughs> Steven, do me a favor. Make yeah. him say, yeah. and this is the first time he's ever going to have to say this to a caller, make him say, you were right. I was wrong. Ask him. Tell him. Say, Steven. Say, say it, bro. Say it. Say it, bro. Say it. <laughs> say it to Steven. He ain't talking to me. He's talking to you. He said, say it. He ain't talking to me. <laughs> Who was wrong about the bill? Not me. He ain't talking to me. Would you show Steven yeah. Kerbeck some respect and he tell him? He said, say it. Who's he talking to? You were wrong. He was right. Ah, oh, man. I hate doing this. Really man. quick. We got a lot of callers calling in. Right All right, now. fine. I'll do it. But you know what? Hold yeah. on a minute. Hold on a minute. Steven Kerbeck. <laughs> You were right. Thank you. I was wrong. Now, Matt Boone, yeah. before, before well, I got to say it twice, before Steven hangs up, yeah. the beer, 
Incident. I was wrong. You were right. No, Stephen, I'm what else? Say Stephen Gebeck about the beer incident. He didn't I was say wrong. Anything? No, no, no. You're going to tell Stephen. Okay. okay. In the sake of shutting you up, Stephen, I was wrong. He was right about the beer. Anyways, what else is on your mind? We got to talk to the caller here. Stephen, what's on your mind this week yeah, besides yeah. the bills, man? Uh, not not much, bro. Just uh, just wanted to clear that up for you. Um, I thought you were going to shoot on him. <laughs> he got silent as shit, right? He just hung up. That's it. He's done. Oh, man. Off he goes. I guess he had nothing to shoot on. Where's my friend Jackie? She, there's a bunch of people calling. We have he a lot of calls. right, because a lot of people in the uh, in the live chat room, a lot of people said that it was a 47-yard field. And, yeah, they were all pretty calm. I could have sworn it was way... Listen, props to Steven. Right. He was right. I don't know why he got nervous right there, but he got dead silent, realized he had nothing to say, and said, fuck. No, I'm wrong. I'm That's dead. what happened just now. I'm telling I'm you right now. I know, but I'm wrong. I'm wrong, man. You, yeah, you were wrong. It was 47 yards. I thought it was a lot. And he less. said it's a famous play, too. I'm not a Bills fan. All right, now this might be a foreign call. Jackie? No. This is Jackie. No, no, it's not. Caller, you're live on WZR-TV. What's up? Hey, Ryan. What's going on? What's up, brother? I'm not here. No, I'm a, hey, sorry, Matt. I didn't Thank mean to. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Fuck him anyway, um, hey, man. Uh, hey, um, I don't know if you guys saw the whole Paul Heyman, the, the promo last night, but I thought it was interesting with two things that he said. First, he looked like extra, like, pissed off. They kept cutting off his mic. Yeah, that's and then the first thing, thing yeah. And then the first thing he said was, if Brock Lesnar wants to unify the WWE title yeah. and the UFC title this summer, he will do that. So I thought that that was kind of interesting that he actually put that out there. And then when he had said, if the WWE wants to take the title off of Lesnar so that Seth Rollins can cash in on Roman Reigns because they wouldn't dare do it against Brock because they think... Seth Rollins would be cheaper as world champion than Brock Lesnar would be. It wouldn't cost them as much. And he's like, this title belongs to Brock now. It's not yours anymore. And he's not giving it back. So I thought those two things were pretty, you know, pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys just thought it was whatever, but I thought that he said the UFC thing and that, because yeah. I was thinking that too, that he would cash in on Roman okay. Reigns and he kind of put, right. put that out there like he would be a cheaper yeah. champion. All right, you made you made your point. All right, thanks for the call, man. We got a lot. We got to keep the phone lines open. Um, yeah, he made three points there. The one was the one we already covered, which was the Montreal screw job stuff, and that's where he's talking about. Oh, you make more, or Brock makes more, but uh, you're not taking the title. Who kick your ass? But uh, the other two things though are interesting. We didn't bring those up. The one was the Heyman mic cutting out. What happened there was last week it was a shoot. His mic was fucking up. Right. He rolled with it, made it so hard to distinguish whether this was part of the storyline, part of the promo, plan, script, or just this was a malfunction. It was a malfunction, but he was so brilliant in rolling with it that I guess they did it again this week to he's, make it... Uh, if so it happened last week and it happened so many times that it was so blatant... He's so good on the fly, yeah. and that's what happened he's last great week. great at improvising, yeah. It was the real deal last week where his mic cut and out like Because it was so noticeable, right. like, all right, let's make it his thing going in the main. So then this week, that's exactly what they did. Exactly. They followed it they up. They did it on purpose and, this week. Right, right. All right, and, and the and second thing it. was talking about unifying the UFC and WWE titles. What's funny about that to me personally, because I run MMANews.com All right, for Shalik. I won't plug these other sites, but a bunch of big sites that you will know if I tell you off the air. And I don't want to plug I know, like MMA Junkie and... Not that one. Okay. MMA Mania and Bloody okay. Elbow. Or all right, two that I'm go ahead. Of. You've right. heard of them, right? Yeah, yeah. But they posted that as news. Like, it was a real thing. Like, Brock wants to stay in WWE, stay the WWE champion... Go back to UFC, become the UFC champion, and unify the titles. Now, I, I didn't read the Bloody Evil article. I read the MMA Mania article. They wrote it tongue-in-cheek, like it was a funny joke or something. Right, right. But they were so clearly trying to cash in on yeah, the popularity uh, of Lesnar. Like, oh, right. let's take what he said last night and, and make it a thing because it'll get a lot of traffic. Right, like, right. That is mind-boggling to me. Like, I'm the... I, I get accused of doing clickbait, quote unquote, all the time. We even all, I, even I look at that. Do. Even I looked at that and I said, "There ain't no fucking way I'm posting that story. That's not a right. story." Right. All right, yeah. Jackie. I feel sorry for. Her. She's the one calling it now that we got to call all right. her. Though, we'll, anyway. we'll take this. Uh, call her. You're live on WCR TV. What's up? Hello, Mr. Boone and Mr. Clark. This is Slayer Jade from the uh, chat room. How you doing? What's up, man? What's going on, man? How you doing? All right, so I got a couple things on my mind. First, my my thought is with the whole Lesnar thing is that he wants to do what Lashley's doing. 
Lashley is, con- is, is consistent in MMA. He's a heavyweight champion in TNA. He's doing the darn thing. He looks good doing it, too. I don't know if Lesnar could, do- could pull that off, though. Then the other thing is, MMA, uh, did y'all hear Layla Ali call out Ronda? Yeah, Layla Ali was, was talking. They, the TMZ caught up with Layla Ali. I'll do it real quick. And they asked her about Ronda Rousey. And uh, at first she said something to the effect of, I, I don't know. At first she was kind of like throwing, like ignoring it. And then they well, they said, you could beat any woman. In the, she said she could beat any woman in the world. And they said, what about Ronda Rousey? And then she kind of again yeah. brushed it off. But then she took this jab where she's like, Ronda Rousey, of course, she's so small. Of course I could be. She's like my the size of my three-year-old daughter. Three-year-old, and it, it yeah. made a lot of headlines. But anyways, yeah, keep going, sir. Uh, no, it's all good. Uh, yeah, you're right, though. Okay, and then uh, TNA. I know Joe left. BBC is in a little bit of trouble. I was liking the angle for, for a little bit. Um, uh, only thing is, is that who are they going to get to replace? Because the, 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 the storyline is so far in right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, like maybe Homicide? Um, well, bro, I gotta be honest with you, man. I was talking to Boone right before we came on the air here tonight, and I had said to Boone that, listen, man, TNA's got no live events planned as of right now. Um, they, they got canceled. A UK tour, don't they? I mean, no, they. I, I think For the there's summer, a I think. yeah, there's a UK yeah. tour planned later this fall, but there are oh. no there are no live events planned. They've got no house shows. They've you know, I mean. People like Samoa Joe, who's a locker room leader in TNA, finally got yeah. fed up and uh, and you know parted ways with the company. And to be honest with you, man, I mean, listen, I'm all for competition, man. I'm all for TNA succeeding. They've got a television deal, not a very good one, but I'm all for I'm all for TNA succeeding. It just it doesn't look good, man. I mean, let's be honest, man. They're losing money. They don't have a very good television deal. They don't have any TNA live events scheduled. Was that his question? They canceled their, their impact tapings. Uh, it just it well, well, doesn't... Did you hear, well, did you hear about the, the, see, the April tapings that they canceled? What, what I've been hearing is that um, the reason why they canceled them is because all the episodes they taped in March, and then for the pay-per-view that they're going to do, uh, the tapings that they were going to do afterwards would have shown all the results from their previous um, tapings they did before. So they canceled right. everything in April, but they still have. I heard, not it's not confirmed, but I heard they no. still have tapings in May. No, you're right. You're right. They canceled their April TV tapings, and then they rescheduled some of them for uh, for May. So it looks like, I mean, the reason that they canceled their April TV tapings is, like you said, man, a lot of the results will be leaked out online, um, and you reschedule those for, for May so that you can avoid at least some of the spoilers leaking out online. So there was really no reason to do those TV tapings in April, kind of reschedule them for May so that you've got at least a couple of weeks where the, uh, the tapings don't get out. Caller, you're live on WZR Thanks TV. for the what's, call, by the way. What's going on? Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? What's up, what's up man? man? Well, first off, I, I have, like, two quick little spoilers, little nuggets for you. Okay. Um, first one, Mark Henry came back on SmackDown. Cool. Nice. Nice. Um, the second one is, it appears that Roman Reigns turned heel. Why do you say that? Turn your speakers on if you want to be spoiled, guys. Uh, why, why do you say that? Dean Ambrose came out to give him some advice and say, you know, you got to do this. you got to be Lesnar. You know, this is big for your career. And then he just beats the crap out of Ambrose. Hmm. Maybe that's just showing that he's in, like, I'm going to kill anybody mode. Kind of like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, it could be something like that. Well, I mean, see it. I mean, let's be honest, yeah. man. Roman Reigns is kind of getting a, a mixed crowd reaction as it is, anyways. Yeah. But it it could be maybe like they Boone's, are turning into. You know. It could be like Boone said, man. It could be a case of you know he's just in destroy mode where anybody maybe, who gets in you know front of him, he's going after Brock Lesnar and anybody that you know. Maybe Ambrose said, "Yo, you you don't realize what a great opportunity you have here. I'm not seeing the old killer Roman Reigns that I saw on the Shield." Maybe he questioned his killer instinct in a certain way. Right. And right, Reigns right. responded by, like, oh, you want to see killer instinct? I'll but it is, fuck you up. You it is I mean? a Something little like bit that. weird that they would have Roman Reigns, who they're trying to have as a baby face going into WrestleMania against Brock Lesnar. That Lester. is weird, yeah. It is a little bit weird that they would have him attack a baby face. In, we'll have to in check Gene it out. Ambrose. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll check on that when we go so, off the uh, air again tonight. We're going to get smacked so, uh, maybe, uh Maybe Lesnar's turning face now or something. 
Well, I was telling Brian that before we went on the air. If Lesnar re-signs, they could pull a big surprise on everybody, have him retain, shock everybody, because they assume he's leaving. Right. He retains, and like I said to you either last week or the week before, he's on the verge of becoming the biggest baby face that WWE could possibly have. Especially with Heyman there, alongside of him, man. I would uh, say Heyman's the guy that's making him a heel. If he turned on Heyman, well, yeah. and he became this killer, like, everybody likes a badass Yeah, killer, but if, 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 if you have Paul Heyman cut baby face... You're thinking about face, marks, though. No, but think about think about Paul Heyman cutting baby, baby face promos yeah. for Brock Lesnar. That would go over pretty I think it would be better Brock, for Heyman to adopt another athlete yeah, and be but, a heel for him, be his but if you, if Roman you, Reigns. I mean, you say Brock Lesnar is on the Cuff, and you're well, right, of becoming a, 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 a major babyface, right? But the second that Brock Lesnar takes that microphone on his own, yeah. Brock can't cut a he promo. He don't need to talk if he's just a badass killer. Now listen, he didn't we even talk a few weeks ago about maybe Heyman turns on Lesnar and sides with Reigns? We did, we did. That would be the perfect way for Lane, Lesnar to become the babyface. All right, we got to yeah, get Jack. no, I agree, man. Thanks, Thanks for the call, man. sir. All right, I'm sorry, guys. We're trying to keep, we got so many callers this week. Jackie, what's on your mind this week, honey? Honey. Okay, um, I'm worried about Rusev and Lana. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She's worried. Why are you worried? Because after last, I'm afraid they're going to break up on screen, and I don't want that. Something tells me that they're going to do same thing as Cena that Triple H and Stephanie did last year to Daniel Bryan went before Mania when they took him out, and Daniel Bryan came back up at the last draw before Mania. I'm having this feeling, is there... Can anyone tell me what's going on with them at the taping? Because I wish I was there, and I'm not. Well, listen, you're gonna they're going to do Cena and Rusev at WrestleMania. We know that, right? And we know that Rusev already got a win at the uh, at the past pay-per-view. Fast what was it? Fast Lane. All right, Rusev got the win there. I think at WrestleMania 31, WWE's biggest show of the year, John Cena, Superman, right? I mean, it's WrestleMania. I think the uh, the streak is, is going to end. The undefeated streak is going to end. And listen, we know that Lana is going to go away to film a movie like we talked about earlier. So, I, it would make sense that, like Boone said earlier, let's say that Rusev loses at WrestleMania, okay? And the following night on Raw, Rusev comes out and he says, uh, yeah, I lost, but... I never agreed to be in that match. Lana's the one that put me in that match. And let's say that Ru- that that Rusev gets pissed off at Lana, okay? And they've got to find a way right now to write Lana off TV with her filming that movie. So how would they do that? Rusev would get pissed off at her, basically, for saying that I didn't I didn't agree to that match with John Cena. You agreed to it for me. Um, so, and that would be a way to write Lana off TV. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it would be a way, like Boone said earlier, listening. I'm sorry. I'll to, uh, chat. to, to, to write her off television. <coughs> Lana's going to be gone from television for the next, at least, I'd say, one to two months while, while she's filming. I mean, that's just the fact that she's going to be off television. So, they've got to find a way to write her off TV somehow. And I think, like Boone said earlier, they may have planted the seeds for that last night. I I, I just don't know. Something tell I don't want the same thing happening like it happened with Elizabeth and Randy when they broke up on screen, even though I was just a baby at the time, but she would, she didn't want him to get hurt. That's why she agreed to this. Because I don't want to see him get hurt. And Jackie, I'm you, you, story about that. Jackie, Jay, you love your Rusev and Lana, man. She you love your who Rusev her and thing? Lana. Before Rusev and Lana, she would call in about the same person every week. Who was that before Rusev and Lana? I can't remember. I can't remember. Jackie, Jackie who was your who was the uh, people you would call in about before Rusev and Lana all the time? Do you remember? Triple H and Stephanie. Triple H and Stephanie. Yeah, Triple the authority. H's okay, Stephanie. I'm sorry. I was I got. Distracted. Anyway, she loves her. It's not your fault, guys. It's just that I'm I'm worried about them. You know, I'm like, okay, I'm praying that they don't break up on screen. I'm praying that nothing bad happens to them because I'm really getting worried about them. You know, I went to go see Dolph Ziggler today, and I'm like, hey, is there? I was going to ask him, hey, is there any way that you can help me meet Lana and Rusev? And I completely forgot to ask him. And and listen, Jackie, Jackie, I want you, I want you to remember one thing. All right, and we talked about it last week with you. In real life, 
outside of WWE just bought a home. outside of WWE storylines. All right, this is all storyline stuff. It's for they TV. just they just brought bought a home in Memphis, They're Tennessee. They're a happy couple. So even if they split up on screen, what you see on Monday Night Raw and what you see on SmackDown every week, even if they split up and even if they they go their their separate ways. They're still going to go home on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and they're still going to be living together. Even if they, it's it's storyline. Right. It's yeah. not, you know, it's storyline. So they bought a house with each other, and, and everything's going to be good. You know, it's just what you see on TV isn't always reality. Sometimes it's you just know? like the Bella Twins contract. It's Sometimes entertainment. it's just for TV. You know, Roman Reigns isn't really a, a or or a, 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 a guy like. Uh, a guy like the Miz uh, isn't really a movie the, star. The He's a wrestler. The that Miz does a movie isn't really a while. bad guy yeah. in real life. I'm sure if you Miz, if if you met the Miz in real life, he'd be a good guy, you know. But but you got to keep in mind some of the stuff you see on television is just storyline, you know. Keep that in mind. All right. Okay. All right. All right. You guys are right. All right. Have a good week, Jackie. We love you, Jackie. Be good. All right. I will talk to you guys next week, okay? All right. Have All right. a good one, Jack. Be good. Wow, she started crying. <coughs> she started crying, man. She loves her. She loves her, wrestling. She loves her Rusev. And, that woman uh, loves pro man. wrestling. She loves her Rusev. And That's a passionate man. fan. She is very passionate. You gotta love that. You gotta give it to her that Fuck she yeah. is very, very, very Anyone who passionate. loves that wrestling that much, that's a fan. Sometimes I don't think that... Of course, the chat room, it's still real to me, damn it, they're doing all that stuff. Y- y'all can do that, man, but listen, Jackie's been a lawyer, and listen, she is passionate she about the product. She loves pro wrestling. She loves pro wrestling, and you got to understand that some people, storyline, reality, it doesn't doesn't connect. And we know about Jay. So, But anyways, so, yeah, but we only got a few minutes here, man. Anyways, so, all right, uh, let's get uh, through the uh, the rapid-fire questions, and, uh, and we will... Uh, let's see here. I love talking to Jackie every week. She's always got great She is awesome, and questions. she is passionate yeah. about wrestling. I feel and, like I'm, and, I'm and, writing a WWE Magazine article, because we're in the storyline when we talk to her. Right, you know, right, right, and that's why right. I just kept. I kept. Well, I was like, "You're breaking the illusion for her. Don't and do those, that." Those of you, I mean, put her mind at ease, but don't completely break the illusion right, right. either. You those, know. those of you that have followed us for a long time know that Jackie, the is woman, a, loves wrestling. She's a loyal caller, and she's. You guys, we, we love you, Jackie. You know the other loves Jackie. We love her, man. Uh, all right, Brandon Brown is up first. Uh, what do you guys think, Dusty Rhodes? On your all-time talkers list. That's, That's a good one, one that I wasn't... I yeah. was trying to think of that name earlier. Now, he completely ripped off Muhammad Ali. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, it depends on who you want to say ripped off. Uh, Muhammad Ali, superstar Billy Graham, Dusty Rhodes. Uh, who was that fucking... Uh, that black dude that, that had the cross eye. I can't think of his name. Fuck! You won't know him because he's such an obscure name. Um, You're um, not going to know no, him. No, I got it. I got it. No, uh, you bad, won't. bad news, Brian. No, he didn't have a cross eye. I'm thinking of a... Ah, sh- I'm not going to get it. But it All right. He's a very, very not well-known guy, but everybody says Dusty stole from him. I think it starts with an L. God, it's going to bug me. Anyways, I don't even think anybody in the chat would know it. It's so obscure. But anyway, Come on! No, 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 no. They all... Uh, oh, God, it's going to bug me. Anyways, they all stole from each other, and everybody says Ali stole from Gorgeous George. Long right. story short, Dusty Rhodes was a great talker, but he had a very specific promo that was very Ali-ish, Superstar Billy Graham-ish, but people say Superstar stole from Dusty, people say Dusty was a Superstar, he was a cross-eyed black guy, but that's not who I'm thinking of. He's a very... Tiny not, Tim! Not known name. He wasn't cross-eyed or black, but uh, anyways. Tiny Lester! No, that, that's Zeus. Tim Lester! That's Zeus. Anyways. Oh, God, did they get it? No. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. Fuck, it man, that's gonna bug me. They talked about him on the uh, round tables, the WWE round tables, all the time. I can't think of it, man. Sorry. Ah, oh, fuck. Anyways, 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 Dusty was a great talker, but he had a very formulaic style, except for that. Uh, what was it? Reach out and touch. Me. Uh, 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 hard time. Hard, hard times. Time. Put my family on hard times. The hard times promo was a great promo, but Dusty only had a few of those, in my opinion. Both of his was maybe if you wheel like he was such yeah, a yeah yeah, 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 yeah. but it's fun always this one's for you man Jay Mullen says hey Boone what do you think of this Saturday's UFC event 
Also, while I'm at it, uh, what's that? Well, real quick, we got uh, Anthony Pettis. Pettis. Okay, Raphael, uh, Raphael and Los Angeles. CM Punk is uh, CM gonna Punk walk. will be walking Pettis to the cage. Okay, we haven't, we haven't talked about the Demont thing yet. Um, I know. Uh, what's the co? What the? Oh, oh, oh! Johnny Hendrick, Johnny Hendricks, Matt Brown, and then oh, actually, that's the third fight. That's a good fight. The top. The uh, co-main event is Carlos Sparza, the first ever UFC strawweight women's champion. Hmm. Remember, they had the uh, they introduced a whole new weight class in the Ultimate Fighter. And it was a tournament, and the winner of the tournament of the show actually won the belt. Okay. I don't watch the Anyways, it was Carlos Esparza yeah, yeah, yeah. that beat Rose Namajunas to become the first ever 115-pound strawweight women's champion. Okay. She's fighting Joanna, and I can't even pretend to know how to say this last name. But it's like Jerchek or something like that, but it's spelled with a billion D's and R's and Z's. A Polish chick who's okay. kind of cute and very charismatic. Very charismatic. I just watched the so countdown. It doesn't, it doesn't seem. I just like watched the countdown for the Saturday show the other day. She is so charismatic. Really? She speaks broken English. Yeah. But she's got pretty eyes, a pretty smile, and most people wouldn't even think she's a good-looking girl. But but she's got a cuteness about her and a very unique charisma. Yeah. I think she could be a big star if she wins. And she's but a it killer doesn't, striker. It doesn't look like the 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 biggest show as far as names. Oh no, 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 no! But, no, but no, some no. good fights. Good fights All up right. and down the card. Good show. Uh, what's his question? He's got a. Uh, Who do you think? Here. What do you think of this show? Oh, okay. And then he says, also, while I'm at it, here's my feedback for today. You guys continue to cut each other off and drag the shit out of one topic <laughs> and also go off topic a lot. That's the show, though, bro. We get That's arguments, the show. man. We go back and forth, man. Yeah. I love and this Jane Mullen, guy. Off air, I love this motherfucker. my brother. Man. And Jane Mullen knows the show. Come on, man. Yeah. yeah so you that's know that, that's dude. half the fun. Steven Grabeck, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for this year's WrestleMania? I got three. Uh, and that's being honest. I was going to say yeah. one or two, and I'm like, no, that's just being dramatic. Three. I would put Things it. Things on it, uh, takers man. on it, so all right. Maybe as we, and I say this every year, it doesn't feel like WrestleMania time. And then we get within like a week or two of the event, and I go up. But just looking at the card it that they like have it, set yeah. up, you say three. I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say three right now, but I'm gonna say next week and the week after as we head. I'm not that's not up fair. I'm not set up to a four. That's not fair because he's asking us right now. Yeah, maybe I'll change it. We, I, I, I gotta wait and see. I'll say a four or a five just because it's WrestleMania. You got seventy, eighty thousand people in that stadium. You got all the entrances. You got all that stuff. Uh, yeah, my opinion might change, yeah. but right now, what's my one to ten? Three. Us. I'll say... All right, here we go. I'll Anthony see. Remy, thoughts on the Bill DeMott, Bill DeMott situation? There you go. I'll let you run with it, man. All right, Bill DeMott, here, here's the deal. Um, keep it basic, because we don't have a lot of time. I'll keep it basic. I can do a real Listen, basic if you want. A lot, of, a lot of people have been coming out in recent weeks uh, saying that Bill DeMott is a trainer that abuses people, Physically. has ignored sexual allegations or Not uh, sexual, sexual no. abuse claims. A diva came out and said that yes. he has ignored... Sexual abuse Ignored, claims. Yes. They have also said that he abuses them in training. There's been photo photos out of him with his bare ass putting. Here's here face. here it is in one sentence. Physically, he's a bully. Verbally, he'll use racial and and uh, and uh, homophobic slurs. You're a faggot. You're an N word. Stuff like that. The sexual abuse claims was another trainer, but it was brought to DeMott, the head trainer's attention, and he didn't do shit about it. Right. So that's the sexual part. But there's so many, like you said, uh, 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 developmental panels. Somebody, panel. somebody brought up the other day that it was similar to the Bill Cosby situation. No. And Bill Cosby well, accused a rape, for Christ's sake. Well, people say that yeah. it's two completely different things. It is similar in the fact that when one person comes out, another person well, comes out. That's another person, person yeah. comes out, another person <laughs> comes out. And more and more and more people are coming out week after week. Bill DeMott was backstage at Thursday night's WWE NXT TV taping. Had a closed door meeting with Triple H as I put up on the website. The following morning, Bill DeMott sent out a tweet and said that, while I deny the allegations, I am going to resign from WWE. Why did he resign? Probably because WWE was getting a lot of negative they media yeah, attention. Exactly. They can't have that on their company. They got, already got lawsuits I'm sure from Vito and all those guys. I wasn't, in, right I wasn't in that meeting with yeah. Triple H and Build Them Up, but I'm oh. guessing that it was suggested by Triple H that Build Them Up step down for the Absolutely. better of the company. And before we hear, um, I don't know if you've heard this, 
he was only taken out of his head trainer role. He's still part of. The, he's still getting paid by them. Like he's still got a job, but it's very under wraps. Like they're still going to keep him in the company and pay him. He did think, that to avoid the PR massive fucking right, thing that was big. Because right. like you said, it's, every it's, day a new person came out. And I think... And they're like, well, we get rid of him, doesn't matter what they say. And this is why gone. the people that bring up the Bill Cosby, although it's completely different allegations... No, but that's any scandal. It's, it's the fact that more yeah. and more people are going to come out and... It was a scandal. I think yeah. in the coming weeks, you're going to see more people come out against... I don't think so, because he's fired. Like Now that he resigned, even if they do come out... Let's put it this way. Maybe they do. Right. If they do it, WWE doesn't give a shit because what are they going to say? Like, we already right, right, had right. the guy leave. Like, what do you want us to do now? Right. We got rid of him. We heard he was a piece right. of shit. We got rid of him. Some, what, of, what the else al- you want? some of the allegations you guys have seen. The it could become a lawsuit. Website. It's pretty bad. It could become, it a, could lawsuit. become a class action lawsuit. Absolutely. Where Enough of those guys, guys came together, together yes. and sued Demont and WWE. Uh, and, 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 and to put a bow on it, Matt Bloom, aka Jason Albert, aka right. Tenza, aka A Train, aka. Uh, uh, there was Prince, another, Albert. Prince Albert uh, is the new head trainer of NXT. Right. right. Uh, what do we got next, man? You're uh, you're up next. Matt. Um, Matt Johnson. I thought overall Raw was a decent show man. last night. WrestleMania, in my opinion, is still looking solid. Man. Uh, which match do you think will steal the show? I think Orton Rollins or Wyatt Taker will steal the show. I think Orton. Wyatt and, uh, not stealing Orton the show. Orton Rollins huh. is going to be really good. There you go. Orton Rollins or the ladder match. That's my pick right now. The ladder match is, uh, as well as... Do you really remember really the good. Ziggler-Harper ladder match from TLC? Remember how crazy that was? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now they got those yeah. two, plus you got Dean Ambrose in there. Right. Stardust, right. Cody Rhodes can work. Uh, right. You got... Who the fuck else is in there? Bad News Bear can do tough guy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, R-Truth can do some shit. You know what I mean? It could be a good match. Gotta get through, man. It's Kevin Duran, you never addressed Triple H taking a shot at you internet people. What shot did he take? On Raw last night, I, we didn't see Triple H's death last night. Did Triple H did a thing, and I think that was the distinct thing. I really, I think I missed it, to be honest with you, and I had to rewrite some I must else. have missed it, man. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Remy, WWE files a trademark for the click hand gesture. Uh, thoughts on that? He that also wants to know, but well, we see the Bullet Club using the click hand gesture. The Young Bucks, they've got t-shirts on ProWrestlingTees.com yeah. where it has the, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the, the click thing. Wolf effect. Um, yeah. Right, right. So it may cause an issue. My guess is that Pro Wrestling Tees is probably going to pull those t-shirts down and market something else for the Young Bucks. They're not going to want to get involved in a legal thing with WWE now that they followed the trademark button. Is that Big we'll see Sean what and Ariana Grande? It is. Oh. Right there. Uh, Matt Johnson says, I always laugh my ass off when Boone schools Clark on WC. Oh, jeez. Speaking what are you talking about? I schooled him tonight on the beers. Yeah, he was right. I was wrong tonight. Uh, speaking of Clark, What's with the constant nitpicking, bro? See it every Monday night. So you got to be more specific. Nitpicking oh, on, what? on Raw, where I, I go on Facebook and I basically say, and I say it time and time again, I don't mean to sound like... Uh, uh, I'm uh, nitpicking? <laughs> no, I don't mean to sound like... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh, when somebody's always... Pessimist? When somebody's always nit- nitpicking, like a, a oh, Debbie Downer. A Debbie I'm Downer. Is say, an I'm optimist is someone who always thinks something good's going to happen. I want to sound like a, a, a Debbie Downer where I come on Facebook and I say, that segment sucked, this segment sucked. It's just that, and I'm 34 I'm years old. I'm 34 years old, man. And I watch that stuff, and I think it's so corny, and it's embarrassing to watch. And I sit there with Boo, man, and we both at the same time roll our eyes yeah. like, oh, man. Man. Many times. Oh, man. We roll yeah. our eyes a lot more than we say, man, that was pretty fucking but good. But then I go on Facebook yeah. and I'll be like, that's terrible. And then people say, what are you talking about? That was hilarious. And I'm thinking, what are you, like 10 years old? Yeah, it's got to be know? an age thing. It's, I think it's got to be. It's got to be age. But I, it's gotta I always be age. say we have a young audience, but you, you really think about it. A lot of the diehard fans in that chat room. The people that call tonight are all older. Yeah, they call the chat room. A lot of those are the main commenting people on yeah. your Facebook, my Facebook. And, and, and they're like the people that kind of like some of this shit. I don't know. Uh, Joe. I don't mean yeah. to be a Debbie Downer fan. I really don't. <laughs> you could come up with a male version of that if you wanted, but, you know. No, Debbie. I'll go with Debbie. All right. I like Debbie. Joseph Gallo says, is Richie Steamboat still in WWE? Uh, yes. came out about that. Yeah, well, well maybe. I just posted it uh, a couple of hours ago. It's on WZROnline.com. Richie Steamboat is uh, still with WWE. Sent out some tweets. Uh, yeah, that was last week. Yeah, I right, just reposted it today. Oh, okay. Uh, it's on WZROnline.com. I, I think it's the uh, the second post down yeah, right The belief now. is he's still there 
but he might have a career-ending injury with his back or something, right? Right. But, but his Twitter account, he was talking about Rollins and somebody else that's current, so we know it's right. him. He's still under contract with WWE. The story's on WZROnline.com right now. Jordan Paul Paveo, is Bully Ray still in talks with WWE? Uh, I haven't heard anything about that. I haven't heard anything about Now that about you say Bully that, Ray. I can't believe. Yeah, there's Bubba Ray Dudley nothing. at the Royal Rumble, and yeah, he was nothing. on Twitter saying we might be signing something, and then I guess it never happened. I can tell I you. I can't believe they didn't sign that guy. I can tell you he's still banging uh, Velvet Sky. So lucky. No, uh, wait, wait, before you move on, I know we're rushing. I know, go, I know. Gotta go, man. Top Heels, Big Show, Kane, Seth Rollins, and then Bray Wyatt. Bubba Ray Dudley could be the biggest heel in that could company be, if he signed right be. now. What the fuck? Joseph is it Gallo, doing? when is Global Force Wrestling taping and when will we that one on TV? It's going to be a couple of months. They're thinking about Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, we don't have a talent roster. We don't have anything else. A data uh, panel, nothing. Once again, we <laughs> yeah. put that up. It's about the fourth or fifth post <clears throat> down. WZROnline.com. Big that, update that on you. Jeff Jarrett's Global Force Wrestling. <clears throat> Fourth or fifth post down, I believe, on WZROnline.com right now. Christopher Brown, Ryan, you hear about the WWE possibly editing in, editing out crowd noise for Brian's entrance last night. According to a Reddit user who had friends in the crowd, last night's fans went ballistic when he came out, but it was basically silent. Uh, sometimes that happens, I man. I, sometimes that happens on television yeah. where when you're there live, the crowd sounds a lot louder, and then you see it. It's how they that has the a crowd. lot to do with the way the crowd's mic, yeah. satellite feeds, things like that. But uh, sometimes, even last night, I watched. It. I mean, the, the fans were all doing the yes thing. They were all nuts. It right. sounded loud to me, so I don't know. Well, and even at WrestleMania, <coughs> sometimes you've got eighty. That's hard to mark. Yeah, eighty thousand people there, and it doesn't seem like eighty thousand people are there. So it well, may have just that's been a two prong thing. If it's an open stadium, the right. sound goes up and escapes. Right. If right. there's a roof, it takes a while to bounce. Back, but Correct. it's also such a big building that you can only mic right. so many parts of that building, so you might not pick it up. Vincent Nugent up next, man. For next week, keep these. We might got a line, man. I love Vincent Nugent because he's been one around. Line, man. He's been around so long, but sometimes at some point we got to draw a line in the sand. Say either you, you stop it or we're stopping reading them. You tell him yeah. over and over every week. One line, and he's the but guy we're mainly talking get these to. I know paragraphs, and it's like yo, you tell him. One line. Like this. And That's a good Nugent one. What is this? That's a good Nugent one. One line. These two, though. Geez. I think I think we read them anyways, so they That's say, why, fuck yeah. you, man. I don't care if it's one line. You're still going to read So here, anyways. let me skim this as you're talking. Skim what it. do you guys think about it? That's what I'm saying. Not even so worth next, reading. We're skipping next, it. Uh, we're skipping it. In response to uh, what do you think about... Oh, all right, so real quick, what do we think about uh, A-Train, Tenzai, whatever, taking over? I think over? he's going to be a good trainer. He seems like really he's going to be do. a good trainer. Yeah, he's I, got J- Japanese experience. He's been around 15, 20 years, at least... Right, and he knows the, the product, movie. man. Exactly. He knows the product. And he knows the company. How do you, you know... Bruce Fish. Uh, finally watching Raw from last night. What the fuck is with WWE using a fake Sting voice? Talked about Scorpion, that earlier, man. Uh, yeah. uh, the Black Scorpion. Yeah. And wonder why the product... What, what, what? Oh. It's such... In a, is, is it so bad? I wonder why after That's after a new the, name, uh, Bruce Fish. I don't remember that one. Yeah. Welcome to the show. A lot of new callers tonight. That's too. true. Good thing, man. Yeah, guys. They used to be scared of me. You said that was your theory. Yeah. At least. I was like, no, they're not. Well, you scare people away, man. I used to be a dick, though. I used to be like, like kind of still are. No, uh, but I would like take any time a caller told me. me. Yeah, but I, you're my best friend. <laughs> I can do that. You know. You know, I'm just dicking around. Callers, though, back when I was doing the show and you were paying me to be on the air, he didn't right. pay me anymore, but he used to pay me to do the show. You still fucking give me a very cheap rate to live here, I know that. But, by the way, I give you a lot of money now. But anyway, <laughs> you used to pay me to do the show, and I hated it so much because I wasn't watching wrestling, so just to entertain myself, right? he had a no cussing policy, so I would say fuck every other word just to piss him off, mainly because of his co at the time, was like a Mormon, didn't want any cuss words, so I would say fuck every word and just laugh when they yelled at me. And then the callers would call in, and I would just take, if they had an accent, oh, I'd make fun of their accent, whatever. I don't do that anymore. I'm fully part of the show. I have fun every week. I love it. Jason Hansen, <laughs> just a heads up, Brian is confirmed for the ladder match at Mania. All right, well, there you go. There you go. I, it on I thought he would be part of it, but yeah, all right. Uh, by the way, Reigns attacked Henry on, oh, God, I'm reading spoilers right out loud. Sorry, guys. By the way, Reigns attacked Henry on SmackDown. They'll have a match on Raw probably to make Reigns look like a killer. Question. What do you guys think of Connor McCallick? I don't know how to say that name. I apologize. Connor the the, the killer. What was his nickname? The, the Smasher. Crusher. The Crusher. Connor the Crusher being inducted in the Hall of Fame under the Warrior Award wing. I it's thought awesome, it was an man. awesome gesture. The fact that they're going to do that at the Hall of Fame. You know, Dana Warrior came out and said that 
Uh, she appreciates WWE doing this every year at the Hall of Fame. You know? And Connor being the first inductee, yeah. she thought. Do you know where a, this stems from, the Warrior Award? I don't. During his, during his induction speech, was it was last year, right, at the Hall of Fame? Right. During his speech, he said, I would like, and he said it during his speech, which was fucking long as shit. He was sweating through the whole thing. Right. right? He died a couple days later, tragically. But during his speech, he said what he would like to see happen mm -hmm. is WWE induct the unsung heroes, production members that have been around for 15 years. Anybody, basically, WWE only inducts people if it's something they can get publicity for. Right, right, right. right. Big names, celebrities, whatever. He said, I'd like to see the, the production team, the camera crew, the lighting crew, these guys that have been with you for 10, 20 years... Nobody even knows her name. So the problem you have is that Connor was never it's in still WWE. A, no, it's still a, a publicity thing. We're inducting this sick kid it that is. was such a cute... It is. Listen, as heartwarming as it is, and God blessed him, uh, they treated that guy and their family so great. But do you not think for one second that they're the inducting him? Year, the first year they're doing this award and they bring Connor in. And they get somebody who's got a great right. story that will right. get the media attention. See, I didn't know that Warrior had said that yeah. last year during the Hall of Fame ceremony. Yes. And now that you bring and it they up. create the award just like he wanted. Now, now the first you, guy is the exact opposite of what he wanted. They're doing it for Instead perhaps. of an unsug hero, they take this famous sick kid You're right. and get all the media attention from it. It's disgusting. They You're sent right. out a press release minutes after they did the uh, segment of Raw last night. Like, literally. Five See, minutes after that video package, I my boss know. posted a press release that they sent out. I didn't know. Five minutes later. I didn't know that Warrior had brought that stuff. up. And that's yeah. Warrior, this is the complete piece yes. of content. All it's right. the exact opposite of what he wanted. You're so, right. listen, I think it's very cute and very heartwarming that they're giving Connor this thing is still, you know... But I think but I think it's 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 a fucking gross PR I also, move. I also think although it, it does sound like a PR move, it I is. also think I also think that Warrior was all about family, was all about kids, and I understand that Connor was never yes. in WWE. But I think Warrior even with what he said last year, I think he would have been He would have passed. I think he would have approved. I don't think he would have. Now listen, publicly he couldn't come out and say how dare you because that would be a really fucked he up thing to say. He would never say that. You right, would just look right, bad. right. But he would look terrible. The whole point was somebody that's not going to get you fucking PR, media yeah. attention. Give people who don't get you get you attention. You're right. You're right. Give them right. their attention. And their right. first guy was somebody that's going to get them attention. And because and it they is, bragged about it with a, a press release two right. fucking you're minutes right. after that you're segment right. was and over. And because it is the first year and they're trying to get this award over, yes, if you will, correct. They're going to use con yeah, correct. I get what you're saying. It's it's fucked up, but I think I think you may be right, man. Yeah. All right, the last one, Vincent Nugent, Samoa Joe, still in negotiations with WWE. His last Ring of Honor date is going to be the Super Card of Honor event coming up in about a month or two. Um, are you sure? I'm positive. The one man. of the, uh, the, uh, the, the uh, it's the Super Card of Honor. I want to yeah. say that it may be late April or May, um, but well, that is right now. That is his final Ring of Honor date. He's going to be facing Jay Briscoe yeah. for the ROH That's ROH title. Now, if he agrees to terms with WWE, he's going to go to WWE. As of now, unless I it is his final date with Ring of Honor. Now, if he doesn't reach an agreement with WWE. Yeah. He would probably wind up staying with Ring of Honor. The March 20th date, in my mind, is his last TNA TV appearance. It'll be against That's Austin correct. Aries. That's correct. But there's two matches I know about in ROH. Michael Elgin, Jay Briscoe. And ACH. I could swear. And AC, well, the two matches that I've No, it's, about. it's Michael Elgin. It is Kyle O'Reilly. I'm not saying there's only two matches. ACH. Okay. I'm, but I'm saying the, 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 the title match. The the one the Michael I could swear the Michael Elgin was this, the 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 honor whatever what's it called Super Card of Honor what I think it? it's Jay Briscoe and then the Briscoe was the WrestleMania Weekend Show or is the Super Card of Honor that's why I said I might have confused is the Super Card of Honor the Mania Weekend Show in California Super no Super Card of Honor is not the WrestleMania okay show. then I got it backwards sorry Super you're Super right you're right, you're right, of you're honor, right. I got it uh, Honor um, is going to be Jay Briscoe and Samoa Joe now yes. if he signs with WWE and that's not confirmed. That was just strongly hinted at right. on the TV. Right, right, right. right. No, 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 no. At the TV tapings, they confirmed. Did they? That it was going to be Jay Briscoe. I read that it was strongly suggested. Okay. 
All right, maybe not. Meltzer said strongly suggested, and I didn't see the tape. For, for Briscoe, for Briscoe and for uh, the title one. Yeah. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I know that much for a fact. I don't that's know what supposed, it is or what. That's but. supposed to happen at Supercard of Honor May now, or something. Yeah. Samoa Joe wants to go to WWE. He came out in an interview and said that he With wanted to go Jericho to WWE. on his podcast. He said he's in negotiations. Jericho even said off air that Samoa Joe and I talked off air. And Joe wanted me to mention this on air that he was in talks with WWE. He wanted his fans negotiation, know, yeah. negotiating I with WWE in the article. So it is Samoa Joe has confirmed that he's negotiating with WWE. Now, if they can work out a deal, he's probably going to wind up Which with WWE. Probably gonna give him they're the deal. probably going to give him a lot of people deal. think right. because they got Kevin Owens, they've already got their fat guy that can do great matches. Dude, they've got they won't get got, Joe. They've got. Kevin Steen, El Generico. Yeah. But no, oh I'm talking about... God, a, but WWE... Stereo- NXT is the old school ring of honor, But they bro. stereotype. I the second they got Kevin Owens, their undefeated killer named Bull Dempsey became a jobber. I know. I know. Because they've got the fat guy that can work, and he's the bigger name. Dude. So if they get Joe, A, does Owens become the... Steen become the jobber fat guy? NXT. Or do they not sign him because we've already got a fat jobber guy that works great matches. NXT is... And I'm not calling Cena job. N- NXT me. is the old school Ring of Honor. If you like NXT right now, you would have loved Ring of Honor back when it was CM Punk, Do you know? Samoa Joe, AJ Styles. And by the way, Ring of Honor has got AJ Styles back. They've got Samoa Joe back. Joe back. <laughs> they've got all yeah, these guys they got back. Daniels in there when he left. Yeah, yeah, they've got Christopher Daniels. Yeah. They've got Frankie Kazarian. Yeah. They've got them all back. So it's like Correct. Ring of Honor versus NXT right now. Did you know <laughs> that, that there's a big thing with Triple H? He runs the developmental. Right. He's not only the head of talent relations, he runs the developmental NXT. Right, right. And NXT's getting all this credit for these great workers, these great matches, and this and that. And, and, and... The outside, not the wrestling community. The wrestling community knows, just like you said, these are all ROH. They're not. You're not developing these guys. Right, right, right. You signed 20 years. They're all indie stars. Right, right, right. So the reason Triple H is seen as a genius, which is a brilliant business move on his part, to focus this performance center in NXT and give them this whole territory as opposed to FCW, the reason the outside, the non-wrestling world, and a lot of the WWE investors think Triple H is this genius businessman and as opposed to just... A wrestler who Vince happens to have as a son-in-law, so he's grooming him to be the guy to take over. Triple H is doing this stuff, which makes him, in the eyes of people who don't know any better, oh, they love him. The people who don't know any better can point to the developmental system and say, "Look how fucking look at these. They're these guys could be better than the main Raw. These guys. Are if better. you like NXT, and, and name why one you guy, watch ring and on. name one guy." That that's on this NXT that the people who don't know any better thinks better than the main roster. Name one guy that wasn't already a fucking megastar in the wrestling industry before they came to NXT. Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, ah, you go to Finn Balor, this. fucking go down the list. Hideo Hatami, fucking you go down the list. Every name in NXT that Tony has. Every every top name, but there are that's guys. That's my down, point. There are guys down there like Tyler Breeze who I didn't you know. Were, know yes, I didn't know yo, yeah, he came before NXT. I didn't know. Oh Tyler yeah, before he came. Oh NXT, yeah, but there are some. Baron Corbin's about the only one they can point at. I will say, like, Sasha Banks on the indie scene. Charlotte, I didn't know before. Charlotte's she the main one. Charlotte's the main uh, one I heard that they can take credit Sasha for. Banks was on the indie scene. Uh, the, a lot Bailey, of Anik, all of them. Bailey, all of them were on the, uh, with Baron, different names. From what I hear, Baron Corbin and Charlotte are, like, the only two that have any potential yeah, that weren't, yeah. like, already proven commodities. A lot of these before guys were they got indie there. workers, right? Yeah. Top indie workers. But Triple H is so brilliant to do that because he looks to the people who don't know he any better. He looks awesome. Like, look at this show and then right. look at it raw. Like, right. These guys might even be better. But if, if, if everybody that's praising NXT right now would give Ring of Honor a shot and would give Pro Wrestling it's Gorilla thing, and yeah. would, would give Pro Wrestling Revolution and yeah. all these, these indie... You guys would love the the PWGs and the PWSs and the the Evolves and the Dragon Gate USAs. You would love that shit if you like NXT. And a lot of people like NXT. They just don't give the they indie don't, yeah, They're not willing to shot. try them out. Lucha Underground. Right. All of now them, that yeah. this is a WWE based product, they give it a shot because it's on the network. But if they've got the network, oh, I'll check it out. What the fuck? Hey, bro. Tuesday night, brother. All right, man. Not a bad show. Not a bad show. Well, I, wasn't I don't like doing our review. We need to do these off the air. Yes. We, we we're, we're too self-congratulatory or su- too self-deprecating at the end of every show. We do. We always give ourselves a grade like we're all like, what do you think? I, oh, it was an all right show. We did, yeah, no, but we, that's what I said. Or well, self, we get the feedback. Or self-deprecating. We want the feedback. 
to ask them what they thought. You don't tell them what you think. How can they submit feedback? It's pretty simple. Been saying it for months. Really? All you gotta do, go to Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark, this guy right here, and then after his name, you put WZR. Why are you talking like a robot? Because I started it, and I figured I'd keep it going, because it sounded funny in my head. Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. I said that's Facebook.com slash WZR. Whoops. <laughs> Facebook.com slash Ryan Clark WZR. Let them know what you thought. Let them know what you like. Let them know Facebook. what Facebook.com slash Matt Boone that wasn't that. WZR. Yeah, Matt Boone WZR. Facebook.com. Tell them what you like. Tell them what you didn't like. Yeah. Matt Boone, WZR. Facebook.com. Let us know what you thought, Matt children. Boone, WZR. Yes. Sorry about that. Anyways, we're out of here. You owe, me, you owe me one and a half beers and a Bella Twins contract. We'll end on that. No, I'm joking. We'll end on that, folks. <laughs> Four. Matt Boone. That's me. This is Ryan Clark. That's him. See you next Tuesday night. 8, 10 Eastern Time. WZR Online. Dot com.